come to you now without hesitation. Will you hesitate to recommend them to the same thing? No. I'll tell them. I'll give them your information. And they have you. a lot of women, 8 out of 10 women, suffering from fibroids. Mm -hmm. They need help and they don't know what to do. They're always doubting. I wonder if this is good because they try so many things and it didn't work. So sometimes That's exactly I have what a lot of problems me. convincing them. What will you tell a person today who's on the edge? To, to try your medication because before I tried your medication, even though my friend gave me the information, I had the doubt that it wouldn't work. And I said to myself, take the doubt off, out of me because I do be, believe in God. I said, take the doubt away and try this and see if it works. I tried everything under the sun, wow. including the two other company, and it doesn't work. Yeah, so, we're not supposed to name companies and, and, and because it's just legally you're not supposed to call a name. But Yes, but, but I had to. I had to because, okay. you know, I'm seeing what benefit, what, what benefit I get from your medication. Yes. So, at the end of the day, back, I'm from Jamaica, and I know you're from Jamaica. No, I'm from Trinidad. Oh, you're from Trinidad? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, you speak like a Jamaican. Yeah, man, because I've been in Jamaica so much time. Oh, God. All my church friends, everything, grew up in Jamaica, church in New York. Okay. I realized that also taking your medication, there's two things I could not do for the past six months was burp uh -huh. and uh, and pass gas. Wow. And I realized that from I start taking your medication, all of the above start happening. I live in the Bahamas and went to school here for uh, for 25, 30 years. Yes. And I country and all of my friends in the bahamas that i know and also in church they did like two three surgeries for fibroids wow. they the fibroids grow back so uh, let me tell you now pastor john once my fiber go down and i it comes out erase finish with it i will recommend the entire bahamas wow the order from you Thank because you. I'm going over Thank with a testimony you. and I'm going to tell them no surgery yes. but only one person medication yes thank you thank you I want to thank and you. you and you have an international crew that will order from you Thank you. This is what the wait. I know you called me a few days ago. I was to call you back. I was traveling. I was so busy. But it was worth the wait just listening. You just give me a reason why I should continue doing what I'm doing. Please do. So I want to thank you. And thank you very much for calling me and explaining to me in details your whole mm -hmm. Condition how it was transformed when they start using the sugar blocker, and uh -huh. and you are very happy with it. Thank you very much. May God continue blessing you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! As we continue to broadcast on this testimony, I totally against anyone from using any company name on the radio. But she make it part of her testimony. Statements made about products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, mitigate, care, or prevent any disease. Don't care how I tell her, don't call no other name of products. She's still calling other people name. We really don't intend to give anybody name, but I have to make a disclaimer. I don't agree with it. But God bless you, and God bless you with your testimony. In Jesus' name. Yeah, this year is I was right at 11 and I went to the doctor on this past Wednesday my A1 is a 6.0 and still going down so I just want to let everybody know that these products are amazing and they do work I was on the daily 3 and I added in the sugar blocker and I'll tell you I'm just so thankful that I was introduced to these products and thank you for allowing me to share I want to ask you the same question I asked the young lady um, Spence to hear your response when somebody said this is too expensive these things we're selling is too expensive. Knowing your experience today, from your point of view now, how will you? What will you say to that person who says to you that too expensive? How will you answer that? 
I would ask them, what price can you put on your health? Um, there's no, there's no um, expense too great to get your health back. And I, I know the, 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 the um, effects that I was having from the diabetes, I didn't feel good. And now I feel good. So you really can't put a price on your good health. So I'm, I'm just thankful that I was introduced to it. Couldn't really uh, afford it, but I had to learn how to let things go to get what I needed. So it's called making a sacrifice for the things that are going to help you uh, in these products. How will you ask wow. the second question? That it's a fake. Knowing what you know now and your experience, how will you, what will you say to a person who say that these things are fake? They're just trying to sell and make money. What will you say to that person? I would say that, that is, that's not the truth, uh, and because I, I started, I know where I was when I started, and I know where I am now from 11 to 6, the doctors are amazed, what, what in the world? She said, uh, can you believe it, that you're down to a 6.0? I said, yes, I can, because I know what I'm doing to get there, so you can't put a price on it. And you, do you still use the sugar blocker? Yes. Thank you very much. You're being very kind, and may God continue to bless you. Amen. Thank you. Yes, uh, a, a few years ago, Minister Dale, she passed out, and uh, when they got to her, sugar was so high that she, when she came uh, back around, she had lost her eyesight completely. And uh, I think uh, Miss. Uh, uh, Jeffrey introduced her to the products of, of back last year at some point. I don't know her exact date. And she started drinking the, the she had got the, the Daily 3 and she started using it. And um, her eyesight started to come back. And they told her that she would never be able to see colors. So, but now she can see colors and she can, you can see where she's going without much guidance and her eyesight is just getting better all the time. I wish she was on to give that uh, testimony herself, but it's amazing. I'll tell you these products do work. Did she, did she use the sugar blocker? She did at one point, yes, but she mainly was on the daily three and it started coming back and she did add the sugar blocker, yes. Okay, and how old, how old was she at the time, you know? Say that again, I'm sorry. How old was she at the time when it happened? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. No <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. You ordered a sugar blocker? Yes. And your pressure was high? Uh, no, my pressure used to be high before I ordered it. And now how is your pressure today? It's doing a lot better. My pressure used to be all kind of 160-something, 170-something, 150-something. Now it's doing like in the 20s, 122, 120, 120-something. Very rare. Oh, it's a couple of times I see it go up to 130-something. You know what happens, Sister Brooks? A lot of people, when you're talking to them, they tell you that the sugar blocker is too expensive and so forth. Now you have yeah, that experience what you would say to people. But the, I, I tell them, I say, look, is that you have not more important, which is more important. I say my health is very important to me, so there's no price that is too much for me to pay for my health. I tell them that straight up. So will you have to hesitate if somebody yeah, somebody wants help to recommend the sugar blocker to them? Sometimes they, they, some, they most, most of the time they're thinking that the price is too high, but I say no, price cannot be too high where your health is concerned. That's my main thing. Will always recommend it to anybody. Yes, I will. Whether they want to take it or not, I will, and I'll let them know what to do for me. Because I have told before I ordered it from you, I know I was going to order it. I told my doctor, I said, when I come back to you, you're going to be taking me off of some of this medication. I am so happy for this testimony. It's unbelievable. It's just that yeah. you, 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 one of the people, and the other reason why sometimes I feel like retiring because it talks so much. And you have to convince some people so much, it's like you're almost going to be uh, uh, Don't retire. You're doing an awesome job, and I'm very proud of you. Don't retire. Please. Thank Please you. don't. Thank you very much. Please don't. Okay, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Again, statements made about products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, mitigate, care, or prevent any disease. You're saying to me, you lost, how many pounds you lost? 16 pounds. And you, and you, you ordered, you ordered, how long ago you ordered this, you using the product? I started, I did three weeks. I did three weeks out of it already, and I lost 16 pounds. And I cheated. I cheated every little now and then. <laughs> but it's still losing Because you said no dairy products. Yes. And, and, you know, when I eat my salad, I, I can't eat it without the cheese. I put a little bit on there. So I still cheated, and I lost 16 pounds. So when I went to the doctor, he said I did very good. And he said, go ahead and lose the other 16 pounds. So I'll come down to 200. So let me ask you a question. Because I told you told me, just, just suddenly I picked up the phone. And I it. Now, people say it's expensive, but the results you get, do you think it's worth it? Well, the results I get, it's worth it for me right now. Because I got good results right now. So I'm happy with it. So... And you have to answer that question. How will you? What, what kind of answer or advice you will give? Well, if you if you want the result, you gotta pay for what you you gotta pay for your product. You gotta pay for it. Yes, I keep telling. So, could you imagine? For me personally, I had a big belly, and when I start to use this and repair my adaptation. The fat gone, uh -huh. it's not really now, and if you continue, it's not to stop now. Just continue. So you, so you think my belly is gonna go? Yes, the belly is gonna go. These products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Experience the power of five. Experience five of the world's top antioxidants in one powerful nutritional product. Introducing to you Levy from Artis. Levy, the power of a drink in a bottle. Experience the power of mangosteen. Noni. Acai berry, goji, and pomegranate. Experience the power of five. Experience Levy. With the regular use of Levy, you would experience a decrease in the level of harmful free radicals, which cause aging. It helps maintain a normal cholesterol level, helps maintain a healthy blood pressure, helps fight virus and bacteria. It also keeps your skin and hair healthy, improve your vision, enhance your sex drive, improve digestion, increase your level of energy, controls your blood sugar level, improve your memory, protects your children's health, lose weight, and allows you to have a better night's sleep. Experience the power of five. Experience La Vie Mangosteen. No need. This information about herbs, fruits, antioxidants, alkaline water, and other products is for general health information only. This presentation is not to be used as a substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment of any health condition or problem. You should not rely on information provided in this statement for your own health problems. Any questions regarding your own health should be addressed to your own physician or other health care provider. Pastor Dr. John makes neither warranty nor express or implied representations whatsoever regarding the accuracy, completeness, timeliness, comparative or controversial nature or usefulness of any information contained or referenced by these statements. Pastor Dr. John does not assume any risk whatsoever for the person listening to this information contained herein. Health-related information changes frequently, and therefore, information contained in these statements may be outdated, incomplete, or incorrect. Statements made about products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, mitigate, cure, or prevent any disease. Use of these statements does not create an expressed or implied physician-patient relationship. 
you are hereby advised to consult with a physician or other professional health care provider prior to making any decisions or undertaking any actions or not undertaking any actions related to any health care problem or issue you might have at any time now or in the future. You agree that neither Pastor Dr. John or any other party is or will be liable or otherwise responsible for any decision made or any action taken or any action not taken due to your use of any information presented.
there's no there's no um, expense too great to get your health back. And I, I know the the, the, the um, effects that I was having from the diabetes. I didn't feel good, and now I feel good. So you really can't put a price on your good health. So I'm I'm just thankful that I was introduced to it. Couldn't really uh, afford it, but I had to learn how to let things go to get what I needed. So it's called making a sacrifice for the things that are going to help you uh, in these products. How will you wow. ask the second question? That it's a fake. Knowing what you know now and your experience, how will you, what will you say to a person who say that these things are fake? They're just trying to sell and make money. What will you say to that person? I would say that, that is, that's not the truth, um, and because I I started, I know where I was when I started, and I know where I am now from 11 to 6, the doctors are amazed, what what in the world? She said, uh, can you believe it, that you're down to a 6.0? I said, yes, I can, because I know what I'm doing to get there, so you can't put a price on it. And you, do you still use the sugar blocker? Yes. Thank you very much. You are being very kind, and may God continue to bless you. Amen. Thank you. Yes, um, a few years ago, Minister Dale, she passed out, and uh, when they got to her, sugar was so high that she, when she came uh, back around, she had lost her eyesight completely. And uh, I think uh, Miss uh, Jeffrey introduced her. To the products of, of back last year at some point and I don't know her exact date and she started drinking the, the she had got the, the daily three and she started using it and uh, her eyesight started to come back and they told her that she would never be able to see colors so but now she can see colors and she can, you can see where she's going without much guidance and her eyesight is just getting better all the time. I wish she was on to give that uh, testimony herself, but it's amazing. I'll tell you, these products do work. Did she, did she use the sugar blocker? She did at one point, yes, but she mainly was on the daily three, and it started coming back, and she did add the sugar blocker, yes. Okay, and how old, how old was she at the time? You know? Say that again, I'm sorry. How old was she at the time when it happened? Uh, I don't know I'm sorry. Oh, no Thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. You're saying to me, you lost, how many pounds you lost? 16 pounds. And you, and you, you ordered, you ordered, how long ago you ordered this, you're using the product? I started, I did three weeks. I did three weeks out of it already, and I lost 16 pounds. Uh, and I cheated. I cheated every little now and then. <laughs> <laughs> because you said no dairy products yes. and and you know when I eat my salad I, I can eat it without the cheese I put a little bit on there so I still cheated and I lost 16 pounds so when I went to the doctor he said I did very good and he said go ahead and lose the other 16 pounds and so come down to 200 so let me ask you a question because I know you told me just suddenly I became full and Now, people say it's expensive, but the results you get, do you think it's worth it? So the result I get is working for me right now because I got good results right now. So I'm happy with it. So, and you have to answer that question. How will you, what, what kind of answer or advice you will get? Oh, praise the Lord. Good evening. I know you never hear me on a Wednesday yet, but <laughs> if you don't like it, get the hell out of here. If you know you don't want federation and you know you didn't want to unite as one, tell the doctor you're not in favor so call kenny and tell him why he put me on a wednesday but nevertheless i'm happy to be here to report to you i know it's after carnival and you know there's so much things to talk about all those who have the cough call me i i'm not talking about the presentation today sometime by maybe friday or next week 
I'm going to talk about the importance of the virus protector. You know, we have people, the number they cough, the only, the only number we're not going to use with the cough is number four. So you go skip number four. You either have the one cough, call me, two cough, call me, three cough, call me, five cough, call me, eight cough, call me, ten cough, twenty cough, any kind of cough you have. I can help you. Please don't use the number four, okay? That's all I'm telling you. Don't go and call him and tell me, yeah, cough and it's a four in, inside of the number or whatever the case may be. I'm a pastor. Stop cussing. So, therefore, we're going to use five. We're going to use three. But we're never you're going to use four, right? We are in the radio and we have to use all the other numbers. I forbid you to use the number four. Anyway, I am here. <laughs> I watch it. <laughs> I know you see with a second. <laughs> I'm always out of time because I look into the road match now. Pastor, tell me what to do. We only missing you. You don't have a clue. Dun da dun ding dang dang dang. Bam ba dam bam bam bam. You know what I'm thinking of. You know, I'm gonna make up this song in a minute and I'm gonna sing it. I have a little song to sing about this whole thing. And plus, I want to talk about senior citizen. I have contender who's singing the song about senior citizens, how we are privileged today. But the most important thing I want people to know today is that you're eating food that smells like food, tastes like food, look like food, full with sugar, obesity is on the rise, financial problem is on the rise. It's a, in, in fact, it's a mess. Somebody said, look at commerce. So it's time to reshape, revive, and if you want to go a little further, you can ask me about the business opportunity. What will you do if you found out there's one thing that you can do to make you look good? When when they walk the street, that man and them say, "No, God, oh God, oh God, do!" Ay 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 flag woman, ay 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 da 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 flag woman. If you want to look good like flag woman, if you want to look like Audrey with sugar bum bum, I am your best friend. I'm telling you right now. If you want to feel good and impact your health, my number is five one six two eight six seven zero seven nine. I want to talk about the microbiome. It is so fascinated. I want to start by telling people right now, many of us, we, 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 are, we are living in a time whereby you wish you was like a cell phone. When the man saying, I wish I was a sweet soap, going hand to hand every time Teresa bade a CD, Promise, lad. No, no, no. This is not a sweet soap now. Nobody wants to be no sweet soap. When you're sick, you ain't study for no sweet soap to see no promised land. You're looking for, you want to be a cell phone now. It leaves from being a sweet, sweet soap where every, every man wanted to be a sweet soap. But now you don't want to be a sweet soap. You want to be a cell phone. And the cell phone you want to be is that when things go bad and it act up on you, you just take a button and press the reset button and it start to work. So you're feeling that you're sick. Ask the people in the hospital, ask people who are sick with diabetes. They wish they could put the finger in the navel and press it and life comes back again. My number is 516 Two eight six seven zero seven nine. So once upon a time you was hoping it was a sweet soap, but no longer you want to be cell phone now. Would that be amazing to have a reboot button? Imagine what that will be like. Everybody going down the road, you eat some pizza and it start acting up on you and you're feeling upset. Boops, you press the button. You got some pain. You press the button. You have a headache. Press the button. You get AIDS. Press the button. You went and mash up something tonight. You get gonorrhea, press the button. You're feeling burning sensation, press the button. 
You have cancer, press the button. Oh, everybody in the world will be glad. No problem, my friends. Just reboot. If it's gastrointestinal tract giving you problem, reboot. Just press the button. I'm going down San Fernando to press the button, you know. So you start right. So you can start right now to understand the button I'm talking about is to put the soda down. I'm watching you right now. You're drinking the soda. Don't take, don't take that. Listen, I am looking at you right now and I see you drinking that soda. Put it down. Put down the beer. Put down that sugary stuff you have in here. Put, ah, yes, you're eating the cake. Ay, 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 ay. Put the cake, dog. Because what I'm about to say today, you're going to make better choices from today. Yes, my friends, because I want to tell somebody that sugar has absolutely no nutritional benefits. And that is why it is regularly termed as empty calories. Or it's literally just pure energy. That's all it is. Sugar has no benefits whatsoever. There is none. There is no protein in sugar. There is no essential fat in sugar. There is no vitamins in sugar. There is no minerals in sugar. The body also turns surplus sugar into fat. That's why if the man saying, fat boy, fat boy, you're tired. I don't have time to play no song today. I don't want to be rude. Today's a, I want to be nice. I have Bible study tonight, so let me don't get nasty, you know, kind of out of hand. And it stores it around the vital organs. Fat around the liver. Your endothelium is destroyed. The adaptive neptin in your gut, the hormone that it starts to store fat so it gets low. It's a, the adaptive neptin is suppressed. That's why you have a big belly. Diabetes, liver, heart problems, liver problems. While the USDA recommends only 32 grams of sugar a day, the average person is consuming 212 grams of sugar every day. That's 53 teaspoonful of sugar. And you want me to come and say, dan da dang di ding 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 dong dong i can't sing the ding ding dong dong i can't give that to you my friends i want to i don't want to but i have to that i have to I, I have to present and if i want to sing if i want to jump he does have me in a pants i don't want to but i got to i got to i got to talk to you i got to tell you something I, I'm, I'm on the radio now. Could I call you back when I finish, please? Thank you. Thanks. Yes. I got to. I got to bring the message. I want to, I want to talk about Jean and Dorothy. Jean and Dinah. Rosita and Clementina. I want to talk about them, but I cannot. We have serious problems. Problem. Sugar is quickly mo mo metabolized into blood sugar, which prompts your body to release insulin. And what? An insulin surge to promote fat in the adaptive neptin, the adipose. Reducing sugar can significantly improve your physical health as well as reduce the risk of diabetes the reason being that sugar increased the risk of overweight of being overweight you're going down the road with your big belly uh, all these years i think my wife used to you know we christians so every time she say oh god i think oh god she praying boy I so, I so stupid. Every time she say, oh God, I say, oh God, look, my wife saying she prays, oh God, oh God. And thinking she enjoying intimacy. This time is the belly pressing down the woman on the top of the woman bed, guts and damaging the woman kidney, damaging the woman heart, all kind of stuff. And then women find herself going to doctor more often than, than man. How come woman so sick than man? It's the big belly. Drinking more than one sugary, 
drink a day, in fact, double the risk of diabetes. The good news is that the roof of your mouth is sensitive to sugar. The more you have, the more you want. But the reverse is true. The less you have is the less you want. Yes, my friends, stay away. Oh, you like kiss, you want to go out tonight, and all you want to do is kiss, kiss the girl. Georgie, Poggy, Puddin' and Pie, kiss the girl and make them cry. When the girl come out to play, Georgie, Poggy, run away. It's trouble. I stay home with my little, my little nice, my little wife. I don't care. We are seniors now, but I, I stay in. I, I don't want a young girl. Next thing I end up in hell. Mm -mm. Stay straight, boy. <laughs> Walk a fine line. The minute you do one kiss, you catch yourself going back for more because you feel your sugar. You're addicted to see. <laughs> Cancer is one of the leading cause of death. Uh, all over the world, characterized by uncontrolled growth of multiplication of cells. That's why when the cells get the blood cells get out of order in 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 addition the metabolic problem associated with sugar consumption are a known driver of chronic inflammation another potential cause of cancer multiple studies shows that the, that people who eat a lot of sugar yes you like sugar Oh, tree, where you get that sugar? Yeah, you like sugar. Everything is sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Who oh, eat a lot of sugar? Ah, much higher risk of getting cancer. That was me. How you think I get cancer? I was in love with sugar. Everything sweet alike. There is considerable evidence that sugar, due to harmful effect on metabolism, can contribute to cancer. I like to point out that this does not apply to fruits. I'm not talking about fruit. I'm talking about refined sugar. Which, are, listen to me, which are real food, fruits and vegetables, corn, sour sap. I'm not talking about that. Vitamins, minerals, fiber, lots of water. Very difficult to overeat because you cannot overdose. So yes, my friends. So the phytonutrients, the phytopower, gut microbiome, sugar blocker power pack can lower blood sugar level in case of hyperglycemia. America, listen to me. Amputation is just going out of style. Over four, nearly five million people in America are amputees because of diabetes. People literally line up to get the foot cut off. And Trinidad and Tobago are suffering with the same thing. Because Trinidad don't like nobody make style on them. Everything that to be the first. First in carnival, first in soca, first in this, first in the pan man, first in this, first in that. You like first? You like to come first in everything? No. You got 29% of the bed occupancy in Trinidad and Tobago. It's occupied by people who are suffering with diabetes, complaining of foot ulcer, and 50% become amputees. People line up. Man pushing you out of the line. They say, I want my foot cut off first. The sugar blocker power pack assists in maintaining glucose concentration within optimum levels. I am telling you, sugar is bad. Sugar is a silent killer. Sugar is addictive. Sugar is worse than a gunman. It's worse than a bandit. If you take sugar and put it to stand up next to a bandit, you call the prime minister and say, it's time to give bandit the Trinity Cross because at least he ain't so bad. He ain't so bad as sugar. Some of you go and live in gated area. Some of you leave Trinidad like myself and, and come to America and you go England and you're living in Canada and you're living in a nicer area and you're feeling safe now. You're not safe because when you open your fridge and you come home and you look in the kitchen cabinet, all you're seeing is sugar. It's following you everywhere you go. It's following you. It's a bad boy. It come to kill, steal, and to destroy. The sugar blocker target various organs. 
I think the next time I come, we have to do with the brain. But today I want to do with sugar. Let me stay right, right now. Let me see my time. Yes, I got 33 more minutes. I better use it well. Genes, enzyme, process, regulate glucose in multiple ways. It assists in lowering blood glucose by reducing the concentration of these fatty acids. Sugar could cause erectile dysfunction. So now, man, saying, wait a second. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh. I'm falling. I can't get up. <laughs> and you want to get back in life. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Dang, dang, dee, da, da, da. Copy chima. Dang, ding, da, dang, ding, dang, da, da. Copy chima. Listen to me. This sugar blocker power pack typically, typically formulated with sugar blocker ingredients. Listen to me. The Lactobacillus cassis. The Lactobacillus aphidophilus. The bifidum bacterium brief into the gut with every serving. Every time you drink one, everybody need it. You know why? You know why you need it if you're not sick? To prevent yourself. Because what do you think gets you sick? These ingredients are designed to bind with cell receptors, which allow the body to block sugar from food you eat, to block it from the endothelium. See, the sugar blocker works at the cellular level to control a person's blood sugar, but I cannot call you. You have to call me at 516. 286-7079. Audrey, where you got that sugar? Darlene, there is nothing sweet. Uh, the way you walk, the way you talk. Listen to me, good. The sugar blocker also work to stop sugar absorption in the digestive tract into from your esophagus so now you're not gonna have no more acid reflux if you have acid reflux you need a sugar blocker if you have fibroids you need a sugar blocker you're suffering with cysts and the ovaries you're suffering from menstrual cramp oh yes you're bleeding and her car stop bleeding young ladies i could be a grandpa call grandpa at 516 286-7079. I am telling you now, refined sugar was practically out of ex- its non-existence in human meal until recent years. With the overconsumption of sugar is the number one cause of obesity. If you're fat and obzucky, I could help you. Sugar is loaded in the majority of the processed food we eat. Oh yes, they're eating beans and can and sardine and all kind of different things you're eating. And you're eating all the different canned foods and breads. Yes, even the bread is loaded with sugar. Salad dressing is loaded with sugar. All this stuff, you yeah, have dry fruits and frozen fruits uh, loaded with sugar because sugar is addictive. Like drugs, sugar stimulates the release of the dopamine, a feel-good chemical in the brain. As we consume sugar, our bodies create more dopamine receptors that lead to crave more sugar, resulting in a vicious cycle of sugar consumption. So... I think when is when am I on next? I'm on next Friday. I'm writing it down. Tell everybody to come on. We want to deal with the brain. If you're stupid, come on. If you're depressed, come on. If you're smart, come on. Everybody needs to listen. How we could take care of the brain. Seizures, uh, Parkinson's, or Alzheimer's, anything to do with the brain. Come and I'm launching it on Friday. End details. Okay, let me continue. We talk about sugar damage the immune system. We talking. We talking about. 
by lowering the efficiency of white blood cells. What is the white blood cells? The phagocytes, the lymphocytes, the leukocytes, the neutrophils, the monocytes, and the macrophages. The body defends the, 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 the immune system that defends the body from getting sick. When it's compromised, uh, you will be sick. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So by lowering the efficiency of the white blood cell for hours at a time, after consumption of sugar compromise the immune system and hinders our ability to fight disease and to fight infection so you're getting sick you have infection every time somebody see you something wrong with you whoa, 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 whoa. hi how you doing oh, i do it too good i do it too good every minute you see somebody to a sugar Sugar robs your body of essential minerals. It's a thief. Besides being empty calories with no, with nothing whatsoever, no calories, no value in nutrition. Sugar actually robs the body. I am telling you right now, it actually robs the body. It's a, it's a mess. This sugar thing is a mess, my friends. It rubs the body. Sugar causes essential minerals like sodium. Potassium. Listen to me. Potassium. Magnesium. That's why you always feel a little weak. You call, you're always weak. You're like a weak link. Ah, calcium. Pain all over your body. No calcium in the body. To be leached from your body. That's what they're doing. They're teeth and everything. Sugar cause insulin. And sugar like to tickle you, know. Oh, Lord. That thing, the dog, dog, dog. Boom, 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 boom. It poke you. Hey, girl. Yeah, you see a girl walking down the road and you, and you see she, I so God, I like that walk, boy. No, might be sugar poking her to go and eat some more. So she walking like that. Insulin drive glucose into the bloodstream. When the body becomes resistance to insulin, the pancreas stops from doing its job properly, which is contributing factor to diabetes. Sugar leads to depression. Sugar leads to madness, anxiety, stress. Consuming sugar leads to a spike in both blood sugar and feel-good serotonin levels in the brain. You can't laugh no more. Have you not seen when somebody can laugh? Sugar is addictive. Are you crying out for help? Help somebody, please help Chucky. I hear they sense the jail choco. The law society threatening me, criticizing my calypso. Help somebody, help Susie. Susie, I hear since she eats sugar. The law society threatening her. To die from disaster, the sugar, it's bad. Extremely bad. Imagine a society where over half of its people, the majority of them are diabetic or pre-diabetic. Watch this here. Our new research shows that there is a diabetes time bomb ticking in the world. Yes, it's ticking and going top. Yeah, you see, you see people going down the road, just co walk up to them closely and listen to the belly how it's going. Tuk! Tuk! It's a time bomb ticking inside of them. They're pre diabetic and they're going tuk! 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 And some of them, <laughs> some of them like to, some of them like to go in the tent and make jokes. They have the laughing, the laughing clock. You're going down the road and you hear tuk! And then you hear next man belly going tuk, 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 tuk. That's when the diabetes time bomb ticking fast. He go have diabetes, then he go have foot also, all kind of madness going on with that one. When it's so just walk up closely and hear them do yeah ticking and you want to know what making noise is the time bomb ticking. But fortunately, when you listen to me, you could take step to defuse it because I'm your best friend. That's why you call me at 516-286-7079 to place your order right now. 
The World Health Organization projects that diabetes is the seventh leading cause by 2020. Listen to me, diabetes is a chronic disease that occurs when the pancreas does not produce enough insulin or when the body cannot effectively use the insulin it produces. Diabetes, diabetes. Diabetes are coming down. Diabetes, fire, fire, and the wire, wire. Ay, ay, ay. Die or be this. Diabetes is a leading cause of blindness, kidney failure, amputation, heart failure, and stroke. What again? You want me to say to you, you will go blind, you'll have kidney failure, it will damage your feet, you're gonna lose foot. You want me to be soft? But you want me to sing a kaiso for you? Listen, the sugar blocker power pack is quickly metabolized into blood sugar, which prompts your body to release insulin and insulin. Begin to serve the body as it ought to because of the sugar blocker power pack. Resistance sugar can significantly improve our physical health as well as reducing the risk of diabetes. Oh, sugar is addictive, it's bad. My number is 516-286-7079. Call Alkaline Slim, Pastor John, 516-286-7079. Kiss your belly fat goodbye. I was a fat boy, fat boy, fat boy, fat boy, big belly man, big belly man. Yes, I was a fat boy. Now I'm a skinny boy. Kiss your belly fat goodbye. If you need to lose weight, you are not alone. More than one third of the world are overweight and another third is obese. Only 30% of people have healthy weight. The problem is conventional weight loss methods are difficult and estimated 85% of people do not succeed. I am telling you right now, my number is 516 2867079 because the sugar blow up the sugar blocker power pack is in the gut renovation that you go repair the repair the adaptive panepton to lose the fat that you could keep your man being overweight is a condition of energy imbalance in the body and guess what the sugar blocker when you buy it you get two months supply we give you an extra month for free we give you two months for free, that's four months. But the weight loss, now we got 50% in America. All uh, these sales I'm giving you right now is in America, people. Any day living in America, you get 50% off on the weight loss program, including the sugar blocker. Being overweight is a condition of energy imbalance in the body. This imbalance is reflected as storage of fat. Obesity is a large scale of social and medical problems all over the world and we feel having too much body fat. This causes a host of medical problems like osteoporosis, gallstone, bladder stone, kidney stone, big stone, liver problems, heart disease, high blood pressure, high triglycerides, low adaptive poneptin, high cholesterol, diabetes and the list goes on on and on and on I'm telling you right now bad sleep yes we go talk about who can sleep and think Friday morning Friday morning come come it's a pajamas party if you can't sleep come you go sleep after Friday so the gut microbiome Sugar blower power pack with the Phyto W for the weight loss. Increase fat breakdown, primarily making cells more susceptible to fat burning hormone. It may help increase the release 
of the hormone called adaptiponeptin. Adaptiponeptin is released by fat cells and may play a role in regulating metabolism and blood sugar level. When you call me, you tell me a problem and I will rec make the recommendation for you. People with normal weight has much higher levels of the adaptiponeptin than those who are overweight. The levels of this hormone increase people who literally lose weight. Studies demonstrated that people with low adaptiponeptin levels are at higher risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, fatty liver di disease, and even heart disease. Therefore, it seems that raising adaptiponeptin levels could help people lose weight and lower the risk of many disease. This weight loss power pack has health benefits including the ability to lose weight, increase metabolism, boost energy level, reduce stress, fight depression, lower cholesterol, regulate blood sugar, among others. I'm telling you right now, the weight loss power pack prevent calories from being stored as fat. The weight loss power pack blocks the production of these enzymes. Instead of fat, those calories are converted into what? Glycogen. Everybody wants to know, what's glycogen, glycogen, glycogen? It's like a menu in a restaurant. No. Glycogen is necessary for building muscles. You see, the gut microbiome tissue in the body is the major fat accumulation. It's called angiogenesis, which is a formation of new blood cells. In the gut microbiome, tissue is linked to fat accumulation in obese people. In order to reduce this fat accumulation, the angiogenesis in the gut microbiome, tissue needs to be targeted. That's what it needs to be. I'm telling you right now, the first step to fighting obesity or being overweight is to start a weight loss program that will repair your gut microbiome. Yes, my friends, if I can lose the fat and I'm 65, you can lose the fat also. I had a big belly and the big belly gone. No more fat belly, no more. This, this, this weight loss power pack provide the right nutritional support can help you get rid of toxin, boost cellular energy production, help cell function more efficiently, all of which help you feel more alive. You feel like Johnny Five. You feel like Five Alive. Five on the black and side with higher energy levels. I tell you, I have a fat belly now. I'm a skinny boy now. I have a brother named Skinny. He not no skinny no more. If you see my belly gone, no more fat belly no more. No more. No, no, no. My wife ain't calling me no more. Fat man are tired. Fat man, you jamming too hard. Fat man are tired. Fat man, I can't take it. Fat man, I can't take it no more. No more. My wife ain't complaining no more. This, this, this weight loss power pack. By releasing stagnant body waste, you reduce the causes of the risk of polyps and cysts and cancerous growth in the colon and gastrointestinal tract. How do we know it? Because 2007, the National Institute of Health launched a research initiative called the Human Microbiome Project, which aimed to identify and characterize the composition of the human gut microbiome. Thanks to those brave researchers. Sif it true, yes, it stink, it's nasty, but they did it. I'm glad they did it. All the stools, all your poo-poo, they keep looking at it in microscopes. And the discovery of the project not only led to greater understanding of what's brewing inside of our guts, but it jump-started the game-changing research into how these buds function in our bodies.
because of the air you breathe, the water you drink, the water in your bath, the pesticides and the, that's why you need a kanjin machine. The the pesticides and the fruits and vegetables, the chemicals you clean with, the the cook where you cook with, the lack of sleep, the preservatives and your processed food, our high sugar intake. That's why you have to call me at 516-286-7079. How about your glide, the triglycerides? What is the triglycerides? Are uh, a type of fat found in your blood. So even your blood, all over you have fat. Fat, fat, fat. Fat turned into oil. That's why you're looking so smooth. You're oily. You have more oil than Texaco. You have more oil than Petrotrain or whatever you call it in Trinidad. The body does not use these fat right away. So instead, glyglycerides are stored in the cell, lying in wait until certain hormones release them. Just waiting for sugar to say, yes, oh, sugar, sugar. So if you eat more calories then you can afford to burn. The triglyceride in your cells will accumulate, leading to a vicious fat that coats major organs all over the body, all over the breast. Everywhere is fat. High triglycerides in the body can lead to serious disease like hypertension, as well as increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Apart from speeding up weight loss, the, the gut... The gut microbiome weight loss power pack has the ability to improve the cholesterol level and reduce triglycerides in the blood. It may help reduce the accumulation of triglycerides in the cells, allowing the body to use up stored fat as energy. So now they take the fat now and they say, you know something? Fat boy, come here. Come here, boy. Come, come, come. Fat boy, come. Come, boy, boy, boy. Be yourself and take your fat and turn it into energy. That's what it does. It may help and protect and even repair the lower portion of your esophagus, which can be damaged by acid reflux disease when the acidity tank contents of the stomach becomes too high. I come back to the sugar blocker. The sugar blocker will eradicate, may help eradicate acid reflux. It may help reducing fevers, killing intestinal worms, alleviating indigestion, and treating ringworms. The sugar blocker may help with stomach upset, menopausal hot flashes, menstrual problems, hemorrhoids, conjunctivitis, uvitis. Oh, I need to stop here right now because I need to play a testimony again. So let me go and utilize my last 10 minutes on the radio. Hold on. I almost forgot. I played to the end. Continue seeing or lose your eyesight. And 
which is more important, your, your health or going blind? Uh, that's that's a very interesting answer. And the final question, the people, a lot of people ask, well, that stuff is fake. We don't really believe it. It's fake. You're only trying to sell me something. Knowing your experience with the product, how will you answer that question if somebody asks you? Somebody asked me that question. I have proof because I have a note from my doctor who said don't need the injection right now. And most of the time I say to them is that because I would like to live longer to see my kids and also my grandchildren when they come, I will prefer to spend that money on myself to make sure I continue with good health and get rid of diabetes if, so long as this program is working and it is working for me. Right. And I look that up and I cry many mornings when I can't see out of my eye. So, which one do you prefer? Make a choice. Your money or your health? Well, I, I thank God for your testimony concerning the sugar blocker and um, may God continue blessing you in Jesus' name. Thank, thank, you. thank you, Pastor John. Thank you very much. Bye. Wow. What a download. Um, um, this is directed to, I'm sorry, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I, I just really want to get... I was right at 11, and I went to the doctor on this past Wednesday. My A1 is a 6.0 and still going down. So I just want to let everybody know that these products are amazing and they do work. I was on the Daily 3 and I added in the sugar blocker. And I'll tell you, I'm just so thankful that I was introduced to these products. And thank you for allowing me to share. I want to ask you the same question I asked the young lady, um, Spence. To hear your response. When somebody said this is too expensive, these things we're selling is too expensive. Knowing your experience today, from your point of view now, how will you, what will you say to that person who says to you they're too expensive? How will you answer that? I would answer them, what price can you put on your health? Um, there's no, there's no um, expense too great to get your health back. And I, I know the, 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 the um, effects that I was having from the diabetes, I didn't feel good. And now I feel good. So you really can't put a price on your good health. So I'm, I'm just thankful that I was introduced to it. Couldn't really uh, afford it, but I had to learn how to let things go to get what I needed. So it's called making a sacrifice for the things that are going to help you uh -huh. in these products. How will you ask wow. the second question? That it's a fake. Knowing what you know now and your experience, how will you, what will you say to a person who say that these things are fake? They're just trying to sell and make money. What will you say to that person? I would say that, that is, that's not the truth. Uh, and because I, I started, I know where I was when I started. And I know where I am now from 11 to 6. The doctors are amazed. What, what in the world? She said, uh, can you believe it? You're down to a 6.0. I say yes, I can because I know what I'm doing to get there. So you can't put a price on it. And you, do you still use the sugar blocker? Yes. Thank you very much. You're being very kind, and may God continue to bless you. Amen. Thank you. Yes. Um, a few years ago, Minister Dale. She passed out, and uh, when they got to her, sugar was so high that she, when she came uh, back around, she had lost her eyesight completely. And uh, I think uh, Miss uh, uh, Jeffrey introduced her to the products of, of back last year at some point. I don't know her exact date, and she started drinking the. the she had got the, the daily three, and she started using it. And uh, her eyesight started to come back, and they told her that she would never be able to see colors. So, but now she can see colors, and she can, you can see where she's going without much guidance. And her eyesight is just getting better all the time. I wish she was on to give that uh, testimony herself, but it's amazing. I'll tell you, these products do work. Did she, did she use the sugar blocker? 
she did at one point, yes, but she mainly was on the Daily Three, and it started coming back, and she did add the show. Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So we come in to an end of our programming. We got three more minutes, and I... There's a reason why you have to play the testimony because you're co- I know you end up calling. Do you have any testimony? Do you have any testimony? 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 So it may help lower the blood pressure and may help stimulate the immune system. It may help to ward off the flu and reduces chronic inflammation. Friday, we're talking about the brain. Next week, we're talking about the cough. It's after carnival and you're coughing and you're sneezing. Call me. You could call me before, but we have the virus protector. Friday, we're talking about the brain, the brain, the brain, the brain, the brain, the brain. When you call me about the cough, tell me all kind of how bad the cough is. One cough, two cough, three cough, five cough. Only one number you can't use to me. I ain't selling you nothing. Anytime you call and they tell me your number is four, I ain't selling you nothing. Because you're really bad. But any kind of cough you have, you go get it and I go help you. It's going to be dizziness, tuberculosis. So we're doing that next week. Like Monday, I go do the um, thing. I think we have next Wednesday again. So we're starting to have a little, a nice little thing going with, um, with work and so forth. If you get vexed, <laughs> call Kenny. Don't call me. <laughs> Kenny is the man. Kenny, Kenny is the man for them. Yes. <clears throat> Low energy, non-communicable disease, joint pains, allergy, stroke. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you. I'm, I am let you know every single thing you ought to know. How dangerous sugar is. Every single person need a sugar blocker. My number is 516-286-7079. I drop the mic. May the Lord bless thee and keep thee. May the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. I say greetings to everyone, to George and Wayne and Chelsea, uh, a husband, only hiding in my name all the time, a husband and a baby, everybody hiding the name and all kind of stuff, but that's okay. I greet all of them in Arima. And God bless your heart today. And I, I don't, she never give me the, tell me to call her name, but she live in Trinidad. I have a friend in Trinidad. She just listen to me and call me every minute. So you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. If you don't see the, you get your package and at a certain time you call me, you know the name. That's my no name friend. So I have a friend. Bye bye. <laughs> Can you experience the power of healthy living? Well, ask Dr. John, Certified Health and Wellness Coach. Dr. John will discuss health-related issues that many of us are plagued with. Tune in and be educated every Monday at 7.15 p.m. Hosted by Kenny Phillips. Ask Dr. John. Don't miss this important and informative program. spirit of Trinidad and Tobago continues to resonate through the alias of WAC Radio 90.1 FM and WAC.TV. While the rest of the world goes on, we stay rooted in the rich soil of our culture, celebrating the Trinbagonian spirit that dances in our hearts all year round. WAC Radio 90.1 FM is your constant companion, bringing you the essence of Trinidad and Tobago.
WAC Radio 90.1 FM and WAC.TV invite you to a musical journey that transcends the ordinary. Sugar bring it splashy and dashy like water. God tell me bring fire. Somebody say fire, fire. Somebody say fire, fire. Somebody... Let's embark on a soulful exploration of hope, rejuvenation, and the sheer joy of gospel, jazz, and uplifting music. Whether you're at home or on the move, make us your cultural soundtrack to your life. Well, this is the voice of Mr. Shock that you're hearing clearly. And you're listening to WAC FM and viewing WAC TV, you see. And just in case you end up, the Roma culture in Trinbago. It's WAC 90.1 FM and WAC TV. This is where we check in. It's 8.34. And yes, I am here. I am with you. My name is Kenny Phillips, and I have some wonderful guests here in studio with me tonight. Well, one of them wonderful. The next one I have to show up. <laughs> and we're going to be talking some things, man. You know this Trini Culture talk. This is time when you could learn something. According to Sprangalan, you could win a jersey. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Trini Culture Talk on WAC Radio 90.1 FM and WAC TV. We, we have to just um, say thank you to Dr. John. You might just take an extra half an hour, boop, 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 just like, boops. <laughs> I'll talk to him tomorrow. <laughs> so nice, we are here. And we have a, a very, very interesting program tonight. And if you listen well, you might... You might hear the origins, the origins of Calypso. So, remember we reopened up the phone lines at, let's say, uh, 9, 905. And let me say right now, to the sounds of Trini Groove in the background, music by uh, Brother Superior, as recorded in Africa. We feel like Kuti and the boys. Yeah. So right, ladies and gentlemen, firstly let's just be let's do the protocol thing. Let me introduce my guest tonight. Coming out of the Bois Academy, I have Mr. Benjamin. I know him as Benji, but what's your proper what's your government name, boss man? What do you mind? What do you mind? What do you mind? Right. If you want to lock me up, it's Rondell Benjamin. Rondell Benjamin. Right. I've done making my case already. So. <laughs> <laughs> and at his side, a very mischievous young lady. Very, very, very mischievous young lady. <laughs> we know her as Jay, but her correct name is... Where am I? Where am I? Oh, but you, you see, that was how mischievous you is because you didn't yeah. put the mic on for me. Yeah, no one, no. to hear me. I don't want nobody to hear you I know. until I put it on. I know, I know. Controlling man. Yes, thing. yes. 
<laughs> yeah, once you know that. <laughs> so, R R Rondell Benjamin from the Bois Academy and Jamie Philbert. I know her Philbert, eh? Jamie J. Philbert. Jamie J. If Philbert. Given whole um, I know our next mis miserable Philbert, eh? So, I hope he's not your family. But anyhow, we might be related. So says my I will see him. I'll, him I'll see him in Dogging Point. I'll see him for sure, for sure. We've never met before. Oh, okay. But okay. my auntie says that we may very well be related. Well, only miserable. I like so. Wonderful. It, uh, so yeah, it, it, there's the relationship. More than likely. More than likely. <laughs> so, so Jamie, you, you are of the Boa Academy, or you have your own organization as well. I am the pointer of Boa Academy of Trinidad and Tobago. The pointer. Pointer, which is taken from uh, the Spiritual Baptist uh, role of Pointer. So basically, a Pointer guides the vision of the organization. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I learned something. I'm glad that you learned something. Yeah. Are we not Jersey? I don't know. You know I don't know if I have a Jersey for you. Oh, gosh. We are, might have to talk to Dr. John, see if he could fit it. Yeah, boy. I try not, <laughs> I try not to fit it. <laughs> so, right. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me tell you how the genesis of this thing came. We were supposed to be doing a stream uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, uh, March 23rd. Right. Mm -hmm. And the thing, air work. Now, oh, um, Benji says something. I, I, I didn't take that as as gospel, eh, but I heard you. Right? Um, he say when it's time for boy business, electronics do work. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it has been our experience. Serious? <laughs> Computers, phone, laptop, it's just malfunction. My very Serious? first uh, presentation was on a Zoom uh -huh. and the entire Zoom blackout <laughs> at one point. Serious? Computer gone through, like, Kalinda does like for you to do she thing, like her thing. Meaning improvise and you know what you're supposed to be doing, do what you're supposed do to it, be doing. Do it, do it, okay. I'll tell you a story about a recording that we attempted to do at a famous <laughs> studio in Trinidad. Uh -huh. The system keep crashing. Uh, <laughs> we start two hours late. Serious? Yeah, it's almost like she wants the recording and documentation of her to be embodied. She wants you to remember it. Wow. Feel it. Yeah. Feel it. Yeah. Well, you're giving her you're giving her a lot of lot of lot of credit there. A lot of mm -hmm. she, respect. She has a lot of credit and respect. Why why is that island. why is that she? Hmm. Yeah. Alright. We could come back to that. We'll come back to All that. Right, nice. We will. We will. <laughs> so right. So we start in here. Um, at 839, what I found from what I saw and when we had a conversation before, that this, this Chantwell Bois music thing as done by King Anthony by Neil. Say the correct name, not Kenny. What's the name of the show? Uh, the Art of the Chantwell. Thank you so much. Sorry, The Art of the Chantwell. There we go. Give me Radio the Kenny Phillips voice. voice. Yeah. Yes. The Art of the Chantwell. <laughs> King Anthony by Neil. Right. Um, what I what I, I found that um, where is, is drum and voice. Eh? Mm -hmm. And uh, apart from it being um, captivating and taking you somewhere that you didn't know where it was going, um, it is the essence of the beginning of Calypso. Yes. So, let's start from there. Well, when you say essence, I want you to think of something a little bigger. Uh -huh. Kalinda runs from Louisiana all the way to Venezuela and Colombia. So when you look at Kumana music, which made reggae music, Kumana music has the same source code, same Congo source as Kalinda music. So where you hear Bambula, Bomba, they're the same synonym. So mm. Kalinda, Bomba, Bambula is one word. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about Bomba, Plena, Salsa, Calypso, Tango, Rumba. Have the same source music. Mm. And that is what is mind-boggling about what we're really dealing with. We don't understand how powerful and the fact that we are one of the last bastions, the last homes of it in its purest form. Mm. So, I I know it has a lot to do with the skins on the drum, right? <laughs> that, and skins on drum is a very dangerous thing when it comes to music and vibe and 
very, 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 very dangerous. And I saw it. I felt it. I was like, wow, what is going on here, boy? Why dangerous, Kenny? Because anything that takes you away from control, of your, your self-control, mm -hmm. anytime you can find yourself beaten up on the ground and you know why, hmm. that dangerous. Uh, I can give you stories, you know. Let, uh, we, let me look at another word. Uh -huh. Liberating. Let me look at another word. Uh -huh. Expansive. Let me look at that even dreader word. There's use fancy word in school hunting. Uh -huh. Liminal access. When you start to be able to access, subliminal access. Yeah, when you start to be able to access parts of yourself uh -huh. that you normally can't get to. You know the people and them just pay plenty of money to train people to enter flow state. We could get that all for the right drum. Cause you know a drum is a living thing with plenty of parts. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it the other night. I was like, what it is going on here? I trying to figure out <laughs> what it is happening here. You know, it just, it was just going, it was just, and, and, um. And it's not just the drum. Like, we have to remember that the voice is. Right. The uh, call and response, you mean? Yeah, not just the call and response, but that is a part of the mechanism yeah. as well, too. But the Chantwell's voice, the pitch, the pace, like, these gestures of temporality and invocation, all those things are happening in the Chantwell giving that first call to the audience you know but is this is this written learned studied <laughs> <laughs> i think that it's passed down i mm. definitely think that it's learned not think i know that it's learned i know that it's passed down um in my learning now mm -hmm. and i don't have a high-pitched voice i don't have a high-pitched speaking voice mm -hmm. um i don't have a high-pitched singing voice so the learning of that i think is key but then there's a whole n another level of learning that occurs so it's not like when you sit down in school and the teacher says okay so now you're going to sing this verse and you're going to sing this verse like this king anthony by what he was doing during the show and what he has done in times when i've sat with him in his gallery at his home is he'll sing take your time and sing the calendar he's not just singing a verse he's literally telling you like you're speeding up I am not singing any melody. I need you to slow down. And you have to be listening so intently to realize he's not singing. He's not singing at all. He's chanting. Mm. He's directing. You know, he's claiming. He's crying. You know, he's shouting. In in all of that that's happening inside of song. You know, and this particular kind of mm. genre of song. So the learning is is in how much can you listen? All right. Um, before we go forward, before we play the first one, I'll, I'll give, <laughs> <laughs> let me give you a, a story. Um, I recorded a few albums, well, for Ella and Elle, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the um, suites to Ogun, etc. And um, she would bring a priest, uh, I say in priest, but yeah. uh, uh, one of the hier hierarchy from Lamantil. One from Point Fourteen, mm. one from Arima, mm. that kind of thing, and bring them together in the studio, and drums and voice in the studio, and I am the engineer, right? And things start, things start, things start to kick down. <laughs> Hello, I mean, going down the road, and one of the guys just start to beat up on the ground and start to talk african hmm. right start to talk chant out african language uh, this is why we're recording it eh? mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. so this is all captured on mm -hmm. on tape eh? so and they would tell they say stop and they had to go and get water and deal with the matter deal with the matter and thing 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 and calm down the thing and thing 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 and um so all I was captured while recording, right? So when we stop and they take him outside and he sit down and thing and he he, he found he, he he came back to himself. All the time he was talking Franco meant African. So I gone with my fast self. So here yeah, now, you could talk African. <laughs> <laughs> he said, African, what are you talking about? Hmm. I say, 
I hear you talking African. He said, I don't know what you're talking about. So I respect goat skin on drum. Totally respect it. Because I, I was in there, like, you know, the, the, the vibe. There are times where you find you're just going. And you, you just you pull back and, like, you know. But it's really important to say, Kenny, that, that that the drum lives inside of our voice. So that can happen, that manifestation that you're explaining can happen without that present. Without the drum. Without the drum present. Mm -hmm. Without the physical drum present. Right, right. It can happen just from your speaking voice. It can happen if it's happened to one of my students when they're lying down breathing and a certain kind of rhythm and timing. So it's a, it's a whole formula that's inside of how to get to the state. Oh. And the Chantwell's <laughs> voice and the love ways itself, right, the calendars right. that we sing are all a part of that formula. Because it's different places you could go. Right? If I want to get to Sando, I could take a car from Port of Spain or I could take a car from Europe. So it depends on who car you want to get inside or how much you want to pay. How much L can you Let me start it. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, good, good evening. You're here where we going and this is where we are on this evening. And we will start <laughs> we start in here. Alright? We start in here. King Anthony by Neil. They have taken the calendar and brought it to the concert stage right i follow the script i like i like you for brought it to the concert stage thank you give me the candy pillows for has it. never been seen seen before first time ever first in time ever in the history mama you <laughs> thing so five time national stick fighting champion five time national stick fighting champion go ahead <laughs> infamous dancer infamous dancer Pretty boy player. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I learned that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, Extraordinary drummer who did not learn on a drum. Right. Can play out a rhythm on anything that you give to him. Nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, we introducing to you Kalinda, the art of the Chantwell, the essence or the genesis of Calypso, or all other Caribbean forms. Mm. forms. So, the phone lines open at 9.05, eh? so when we start, I want to hear you. So there we go. The Berlin. Say, I'm living alone, I'm living alone in the jungle. I'm living alone in the jungle. Snake and lion are to hum. I'm living alone, I'm living alone in the jungle. I'm living alone in the jungle. Snake and lion are to hum. I'm living alone, I'm living alone in the jungle.
live in alone. I live in alone in the jungle. Kaya waga kaya take it time I think I live in alone. Yeah, yeah. Where we start? <laughs> he cheat. He get hot. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. So, as I living alone? Living alone in the jungle. In the jungle. Not in a mansion, eh? <laughs> Snake and lion at the humble. <laughs> wow, wow. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, we we have begun the uh, day of hood it, and we kicking down, we going down inside the inside the thing. So we open up the phone lines at nine oh five, so you could contribute, and you know, you could call and talk to this this form, this this strange form. You know what I mean? Very very strange form. Why I I don't like your words, Kenny. Strange. I want to know, okay, no matter I don't like it. I would uh, like to know what you mean when you say strange. Strange is, strange means out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. So strange. extraordinary is what you want to say. Yeah, yeah, you can use that, yeah. yeah. Extraordinary. Because it's not a, um, it's not a, it's not an everyday thing. Yeah. Mm. Even though we have a program here, we have a program on the radio every day called Bois. Mm -hmm. Every week they call Bois. So when you're having me to come on and co-host with you, oh, you have a whole it's... program called Bois, and I, I didn't get invited, Kenny. All right, we we'll see who must us. Go ahead. Ah, Lord, Father. <laughs> what, what I've seen it, and we've had that program for the last twenty years. Good. So all right. So Sorry. now in the, in the twentieth year, it's perfect time to bring up. No, nah, I don't. On. I don't think it's the twenty. It's not twenty years. No. See, look how you it, You know, because it came out after Mr. Shack's Bois song. Okay. Right, so and people call to Hitman Bois, you understand? So real Bois or, or, or verbal Bois? Verbal Bois. Okay. You know, you know, like um, anything, you know, foolishness. Go on, you know, open the papers and you see stripperness, Hitman Bois, that kind of thing. And so we we this to me is the same voice, mm. the same from the same recording, I guess. And yes. And, I, I, you've heard it? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. If, I don't. Now, now you know the Genesis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was my son and I who recorded, so I really, yeah. I wasn't there. Right. But, um, so I'm saying it's strange, meaning it's out of the ordinary. It is extraordinary, according to you. Um, but it is so relevant. And so it's the reason why we are where we are. Mm hmm. But we don't, we don't, we don't pay it homage. We, the, the average marriage and the parish, you know, like, you know, we don't, that is where we come from in all, yeah? No, I don't get that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't get that. And the only reason I, I'm so particular about the words, and not just particular with it, with you, mm. with myself as well, um, how we speak about things sometimes is coming from how our colonizers spoke about things. Yeah. Because we read it in a book, right? So African things are strange to us. It's, it's peculiar. It's all these different things when what you really mean to say is it's out of the ordinary. When it's extraordinary, mm. right? And that this thing that's very ordinary to a mm. stick fighter, someone who has grown up with this thing their whole entire life, that it lives inside of places like Maruga and Rio Claro and Talparo. And it doesn't seem not average to them, right? Or it is very average. It's like, we do this all the time. This mm. is not a big deal. This is ordinary to right. us, you know? But it may be extraordinary to someone outside. You don't find that funny that Trinidad is so small and the people in the tongue will be like, what, what's that boy? And the people in the country, like, this is what we do. I think it's interesting because I saw something the <laughs> other day or somebody was, uh, which is great. It's a great effort. They were trying to kind of bring to light uh, fireside and teaching people how to do fireside and that you know we were losing it and the first thought that i had was it's not being lost at all we were just in maruga the other day i had a whole fireside and prior to that i've been in new grand and maruga and fireside is happening normal 
So some of the things that we think that we're losing, it just doesn't exist inside of the more cosmopolitan or metropolitan spaces, and it's very much living any places where it comes from. <laughs> you, you really feel, you really feel we have cosmopolitan spaces. Well, we so, think that we do. So let, let's look at that. <laughs> I have a case study for you, Kenny. Uh -huh. In 1805, you ever hear the Christmas poison plot? No. So there was a, a queen of a calendar band called the Macaque, who had arranged to poison all the planters in Port of Spain and liberate people because they had just come from Haiti. This is Diego Martin. Hmm. Right? And there were several regiments of calendar convoys, secret societies, that all played calendar. Obviously, after the poison plot, when picked on and them find him, they hang his people and they did everything possible to make sure Kalinda was never uttered in Port of Spain again. It was banned in 1808. Wow. And the suppression of Kalinda happened. This is prior to emancipation. Eh? And from then to 1884, laws have been consistently put in place to make sure Kalinda, its music, its history, were it's obliterated people. from our memory. And like they get through. And not just obliterated, no, get you. <laughs> <laughs> obliterated and looked at as idle, looked at as lower class. Then, you know, at a certain point, it was not, uh, it was frowned upon to do calypso or any type of singing where drums or any of that kind of chantwellen was concerned Chantwell. outside of carnival. Yeah. You're supposed to have a regular job after that. If you're doing this all year round, you're idle. Yeah. You know? So you're taking away the accessibility for somebody to actually make an income off of what they do professionally. No, but that that still that still exists today. It still exists today, which is why the Art of the Chantwell show was important. My, because my mother reminded me of that just recently. She mm. say, "Remember when your father asked you if you're gonna get a real job? Mm. You know, and you still don't have one. No, I don't have a real job. I have jobs. <laughs> Plural. <laughs> but uh, I like where we go in." Let's remember, I am here with Mr. Rondell Benjamin and Miss Jamie J. Filbert of the Bois Academy. And Jamie is the pointer. Say it right? That is Exception. correct. Uh, you're you're yeah, amazing. Yeah, the pointer. <laughs> All right. Eh? Um, and Rondell is the dreamer. The dreamer. Yeah. The ideas. I know that. I know that kind of way. <laughs> they don't tell you you're mad? All the time. <laughs> I get in it right through. <laughs> I get it right through. So we're going again. We're going again. I, you know we had to do this thing in doses because I feel if mm -hmm. you put too much, yeah, yeah, yeah. people go run off the road yeah, and all kind of thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't take, see it already. Take your time and sing the melody. You know what I'm saying? Because man to man, we don't afraid nobody. We don't afraid nobody. Hear this one. Hear this one. You go like this one. Thousand, ten thousand to buy me one. Ten thousand to buy one. Thousand, ten thousand to buy me one. Be that they don't know. Thousand, ten thousand to buy me one. Me one, me one. Thousand, ten thousand to buy me one. Be that they don't know. Thousand, ten thousand to buy. Be that they don't know. Thousand, ten thousand to buy.
So, ten thousand to bar me one. Bar. Mm-hmm. To bar me one. Mm-hmm. Ten thousand trying to stop me. Yeah, it's, our me bar, it's our bar chan song. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's our bar chan song. Yeah. Oh, you come in. You understand? It could be ten thousand all you. I ain't frightened. So, I'll, I'll give you an example. A person of great faith. Mm-hmm. A person of great confidence. A person who sits in, inside of the kingship. Mm-hmm. When the spirit take them, they could watch ten thousand man tank, bomb, airplane. They don't care. Once that a boy and the song, <laughs> they're going to meet their God. You hear what you say? Peter didn't know. <laughs> when, yeah, Peter. Remember Peter's the one that they call on, right? Mm-hmm. And he deny. Yeah. Even Peter didn't know, but I know. I have faith. <laughs> ten thousand about me one. Wow. Then he said, Saki tombe tombe, which means who fall, fall. The way how King Anthony by Neil explains it, though, he says any number could play, which is equivalent to the same thing as who fall, fall. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so anytime I feel, I, I, I feel it myself, I just want to say, hey, 10,000 uh, me, me one. one. Yeah, that'll, that'll be my ringtone. <laughs> and if they tell you you can't do something, which my suspicion is you've heard that many times in your many, life, many, mm. many, many, many. You tell them Saki Tumbe Tumbe. <laughs> fall, fall. But we're going through. <laughs> many, many times. They say you're a madman. They say, you know that a song like that? They say you're a madman. Right? Because. We have one of them too. Yeah. So um, we talked, when we were talking earlier, you t- we touched on a song mm-hmm. that I want to play before and then we can continue. It's five minutes past nine o'clock and I'm here with Mr. Rondell Benjamin and Miss Jamie, Miss Chiva's Chief Philbert. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> <I'm boring now. laughs> so, um, so the phone lines will be open and, I, and I'm playing a song here as told to me by Miss Jamie Philbert. Let me see if you can hear what we were supposed to hear. There is a place that they call Mang Six company village mountain jewel land The smallest child in this village Drinking bush rum like porridge And they like to brawl if you hit one man, man, you hit all Piper, Jack and Singer Cooper Sign one eye and Peter July Alman, Popolin and Norman From the mountain Jugia Jugia in the man Sit down to drink, both sleep and rest, they don't stop to think. Day after day, week after week, till they get too tight to speak. Not one long spoon, they start by ranging quite in tune. Tire, bitter hold a cooper. Priest man, hold some Hamilton. Lucas, Billy Jean, Macintosh, from the mountain, Jugia, Jugia, Minima. When you talk for cooperation, up in the man, everyone is one. Two police went in the man with a warrant from and the police get blows, they come back out without no clothes. Jagat, cheetah and stick man, Jack. Cummins, Absalom and Trim. Grango, Copa John, Mano, from the mountain, Jugia. Jugia in the man. Back 
Since slavery, I am convinced. Some of them have come out from the mountains. Right shortage did them no harm. Like to ram the crazy arm. When the arm got boiled, they start to fry in coconut oil. It's quite true, they make great mountain juice. Pushing whiskey and eating. Charles Paul wanted license and all in the mountain Jew gang. Jew gang in the man. Fancy phrase at the end of it. So he went through all these stick fighters in the land from that time. He did, and not just from that time, but they, their lineage is still alive. King so, yeah. Anthony Baniel is one of that lineage, the Cummins clan. And he's also related to the Coopers as so well. He's the Cummins Cooper. Yeah. Wow. So literally, the, the names in his song are the men who would have taught him or taught his teachers. And there's Lucas, still stories Singer, of them. Jack, yep. Cummings. Charles P Paul. Purple is his, I think, his auntie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you hear that song and you listen to Artie Chantwell, you're looking at generations, as the song say, since slavery didn't come out from inside a day. Because <laughs> this is a hardcore Americans from 1818 mm. who came, were given land. So when they say in the man, I know, I know from my little history, the Americans had to clear area to to perform or to practice their religion is that area in the man or in the forest or in that kind of but you gotta remember that they, they when they came they came as baptists right right yes. and, and all a lot of the people we're speaking about are also they generally stick many involved in the baptist ministers <laughs> because uh, of the singing and yeah, because of the, they, yeah. they cleared the land but the land wasn't good and that's how new grant came about the government had to, was forced to give them a new allotment you mean like hard bargain right, hard bargain <laughs> was <laughs> where they was fighting and they say we just we're not going on if all they don't give us what we want yeah we leave in trinidad yeah because they were fighting in the war of independence in america in yeah. 1818 yeah i know i know the um what what i got from the hard bargain was the land wasn't um, fertile at all so it was a hard bargain the new grant was a new grant of land right the 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 the, the, bar, the barracks the companies that's what we're looking for the, the company. companies you mentioned six companies at the top six of the song. Com yeah mm -hmm. so the companies were they, they actually lived in companies because they were soldiers that fought with the americans the british the british against the, the americans, americans. Um, right with the british against the americans the british lost and the freedom that they granted them, they dropped them in Port of Spain. Well, I know they went to Bermuda, Canada, uh -huh. Port of Spain, some other places. Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, and even um, it was Aruba or Curacao, somewhere along that yeah. side there. Some other just any piece of history, the U.S. and them have a verse that they do sing. Uh -huh. And it's about the Americans. The verse that they do sing, the one that have people kneeling down, get rid of them slaves and rebels. Is because this group, this, these units were so successful at guerrilla warfare that the Americans say, when all you're going, take them. <laughs> we don't want them here. They send them Canada, Canada, say, Canada, hey, we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All you go with them. Yeah. So they're not in Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, they drop them in Port of Spain. And the Governor General say, hey. <laughs> 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 what is that? <laughs> you can't drop these men here as free men and we, ha we still have slaves. No. Nah. <laughs> so carry them far and they carry them that's in the companies new grant and that area down there and i know they had to clear we did when we now started the radio station we started doing interviews mm. in muruga with some of the elders oh gosh mm. i need to hear that boy it was a recording and all kind of thing because we didn't know what we was doing <laughs> you understand and they were telling us that they couldn't practice their religion properly they had to go into the bush clear area to be baptist you understand? So um, all of this part they had of the, all the peace ordinances that in 1884 yes. to ban any type of not just the drumming but the singing, even the bell, the dancing, the bell, <laughs> yeah. anything that sounded African. Yeah, we need anything that quiet. Yeah, anything you understand, 
And that still happens. I, and part of me feels like they understood it quite well, which is why they wanted to ban it. <laughs> no, they mm -hmm. understand it. They freed it. Yeah, but <laughs> but sometimes understand is in fear too, right? Eh? Yeah, yeah. I understand it enough that I need to fear it. Yeah. And you know, I, I realize that every one of these songs from this Mr. Chantrell man here, King by Neil, every one of them have a story, have a something going on. Several stories. Yeah, yeah. The laways are multiple meaning. And then meaning is made by who is singing it. Hmm. You know? And it's improvised. So the call and response actually begins to, to flow into the space. Who in the guy, he calling different name, talking about who get cut just now. So when you talk about extempo, you hmm. talk about call and response. You talk about verse. You talk about creating this bush telephone where they're talking about Dr. Williams, they're talking about... They talk about war. So the messages, <laughs> your messages used to be to be sent with this thing here. Dr. Williams, doctor, don't let go your hand. Doctor, don't let go your hand. He's the king of the island. Dr. Williams, <laughs> doctor, don't, don't let go your hand. Wow. We can show you political love way. Yeah. Social. Lego. We have a phone call. We have a 914. Good evening, caller. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Oh, good the, evening. How are you? I'm not too bad. I have a question. Is this Mr. Neil Batiste? No, Mr. Batiste. You always say, you don't have a voice for you. All you say, you know this voice. What you do? <laughs> you have the man voice, but give back the man voice. <laughs> anyway, what do you yes, sir. Have my voice? Well, I, I don't know. That could be true. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Okay. I have a question for the man earlier. Mm -hmm. By any chance, is it are, are you all related to the Horatio face? Is Kalinda? Is yeah, Kalinda related to it? So the Orisha. So mm -hmm. Kalinda itself does not derive from Orisha or Yoruba faith. Um, however, Kalinda practitioners can also be Yoruba practitioners or Orisha practitioners or Ifa practitioners. Um, the two are different spiritual paths is the best way for me to put that. They're two different ways of life, right? If it's a way of life, Kalinda is a way of life, but they're two different ways of life. So if I were doing as explained by one of the elder stick fighters the other day to me, um, who's also a Risha practitioner, that if he was doing a uh, spiritual Baptist or he was doing some sort of Kalinda ritual, he would have to end those rituals yeah, go ahead. And he gone. Um, you would have to end those rituals and then start the new ritual. So is there a close enough space that has to happen in order to enter a new space? So they're not mixing and melding these African things because Africa is not a monolith. So it's not treated that way. So no, Kalinda is not uh, Orisha derived. Okay. Nor do Orishas, nor are Orishas venerated in Kalinda practices. And the easiest way, you know, to not make this an argument, because some things don't need to be an argument, right? Um, in every Gael that has ever happened in Trinidad and Tobago, you've never seen a Orisha ritual done in the Gael. You've seen Kalinda rituals done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the Lav ways, because that's what we're talking about, the Art of the Chantwell, you've never heard Shango or Oshun or Obatala um, venerated in any of those songs. Mm -hmm. In mm -hmm. fact, a lot of these songs, as we were talking about in between, are you'll hear a lot of the Chantwell singing Bible verses, they're singing Psalms. They'll use psalms as a part of their their lyrics, you know. That is that one is funny. That's strange because it's supposed to be, you know, that is extraordinary. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> so if you understand the the source of Kalinda, which is predominantly West Central Africa, and the fact that the, the Congos came as Catholics because the Congo King, Kingdom was Catholic in the fourteen hundred. Mm -hmm. 150 years before slavery, mm -hmm. you will understand that the the affinity for the psalm and the cross right, right, is very right. clear. And you know, just a kind of one of the the first teachers I had was a very very strong, famous Orisha practitioner named Mother Marian, and she said clearly to me, Rondell, this space here is an ancestral technology. The ancients and the ancestors visit here. This is not a racial space. This is something else. It's mm -hmm. old, old, old. Mm -hmm. I never forgot that. Wow. Good evening, Cola. Yes, sir. It's 
me again. Uh-huh. You get back some coins. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it, it, it didn't finish. I stopped it. I decided to listen off there. Right, right. And after it was explained, I decided I will call back. Okay, wonderful. Miss Pointer, thank you very much You're for welcome. your explanation. And then I will listen just before your Mr. Kenny answered the phone to Mr. King was explaining something else, which I understood also. Thank you very much. Very good show. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very thank much you. for calling for the question. Right. I appreciate you. Right. Remember, the phone lines are open, 652-4901, uh, 786-292-2789, if you're calling from Farin. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's just me being mischievous, all right? Next thing you know, they say, oh, I see, but I see this and I say that. You know, don't call me foreigner. You know that song? Yeah, that song has happened big time, you know. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's somebody, that's somebody. Yeah, yeah touch, uh, <laughs> touch, uh, touch on him. Touch on him, it's Paul in a garden. Good evening, caller. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Salutations to the crew. Um, Greetings. Yes, good night. You wouldn't recognize this voice until I identify who I am. But to get to the point, I want to salute the Boa Academy. I was at the event in which the brother was saluted. Um, and this is a whole emotional thing for me because mm. I was introduced to Kalinda by my father. Mm. While I am not a Kalinda practitioner, I was introduced to tradition on the kitchen table with the, with the rhythms and stuff. Mm. When I learned to play the rhythms, he would unscrew the broomstick and carry on stuff in the kitchen. And I remembered <laughs> when I saw when Gael came out, before it was a channel, they would feature a lot of Gael um, activity. Mm. And there was a champion from Mayaru, a short brother, bearded. And like when I saw him, I saw my father. Mm. Mm. Tiger. So I realized he was deep. Mm. If he wasn't a batane himself, he was deep into the tradition of the whole thing. You know, so I want to also salute at this time Andre Tanka because Andre composed a song on Kalinda, but it was never recorded. Mm. You know, um, it was called Linda Kalinda. Mm. So I guess I could recognize who this person is. Of course, here, right? of course. We, um, um, Baba Tamba, we didn't hear your voice a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so glad that you called. All you know, my Tamba, I have a different name for oh, him. What is I it? Need that now. What is that? Name? Okay. I see me and he. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Even like though I Linda hit- name. <laughs> 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 a secret society name. I yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a name. We have a name. <laughs> so, so Baba Tamba, I want to say to you that I feel that one thing that I know I speak a lot about Kalinda practitioner versus non-practitioner. Um, I think that there's a very thin line. Um, and the thin line is those who actually engage in the practice, right, on all levels. However, when you share the story that you're sharing, I think that many people in Trinidad have some sort of similar story. Um, and for me, you are part of the Gael. You are part of Kalinda. Kalinda is a part of you. Mm-hmm. Um, and my teacher, Nigel February, in a style named Piper, which is a killing style, um, a killing system, <laughs> uh, he shares that a secret is not kept from the non-practitioner, right? It's not something that's really kept. You're keeping it from yourself because you're the one who's not approaching and asking the questions necessary. Um, I'm paraphrasing what he said. And King Anthony Baniel has said, I asked him about the bois one day, and he said, the bois is a secret. Um, The bois is a secret only because if I do not touch that bois with a certain kind of intention and a certain kind of willingness and yielding in my spirit to learn it, it will remain a secret to me. If I poppy show it, if I only re- let it remain inside of a space of carnival or a theatrical space or uh, a frivolous space, then it's a secret, right? But it doesn't have to remain a secret to us. It can be something that is a part of our livingness. And I don't think that there was an accident that you and I met when we did, first of all. And second of all, for you to engage us the way that you have chosen to do and definitely for you to be at the performance that night. Um, and as I'm speaking to you, like, my, I gave my pause reason. So, and it raised when you were sharing what you were sharing. So I feel like how many of the moons that was a goal that you had that experience with your father and that memory is still living inside of your body. That's part of yeah. the embodied knowledge of Kalinda. And those kind of stories need to be shared. 
right? And that would have been part of your rites of passage into your African manhood, you know? Yes. So. You know, I have one other piece of story to share, which, which um, testifies to the whole social condition that affected people's approach and appreciation to things African and mm -hmm. African traditions that we preserve. Because when I was 10 years old, my father took me to a gael. This was a daytime gael that was held in, right in Pity Moon in, in St. Madeline. Mm. So in my usual style, I would come home and tell my mother everything that I experienced for the day. Mm. So I come to my mother and say, Daddy, carry me to this place, Mom. You say, hear them drums. And these men had the head tie and thing. Mm -hmm. And the biggest argument break up between my mother and father. This sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Or she is saying that, accusing my father of trying to turn me into a stick man. Mm -hmm. Trying to make my son a stick man. Now, when I analyzed this years later, I realized something. That my mother was a school teacher and my father was an oil field worker. And in the oil field, there was a lot of tradition preserved among oil field workers. Eh? I experienced it too because I worked in the oil field for a while. When they would chant and sing to do jobs together. Mm -hmm. They used to the, the, the voice thing. Work songs, yeah. The rhythm, the rhythm thing to like, mm -hmm. to, if they had a, a chore to do together, you know? So my father came from all of that. He, had, he was surrounded by that. But my mother was moving away from that because she was born in New Grant. She was in the heart of it. Because we knew, I knew old man Reiner. Hmm. You all know the, you know the Reiners from Second Branch, New Grant. Mm -hmm. Yes, you would know old man Reiner. He was the drummer and his sons were, were batoners. Hmm. And they would play right in, in, in the junction, in, in Torpetrace Junction there. Because there was a guy in Torpetrace Junction. As a child, I heard drums there. You know? Hmm. And um, so my family is New Grant going straight up to Rio Claro. Right? So, so we... we it's in the blood kind of thing. So, Tambo, when you come into Sundays at Boa Academy, we have a stick fighting techniques. You know me, you know Benji. I just, you know, mommy yeah. might not get mad now. It's mm. okay. Yeah. Well, I was practicing balancing the stick on my head a while. Eh, eh, pull ups. When you did, when you did the, um, the program during the COVID period, you did yeah, a program. Yeah, the first, I was just talking about that, the first uh, talk yeah. that I had there on Calendar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah and that, you know, people don't realize that, again, that comes straight out of the tradition. Every stick fighter I know could balance stick on their head. Mm. And well, I saw uh, it the night of the show, man. I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me do keep. Let me do yeah, keep. Man, thank you so much for your contribution, right. Mr. Mr. Burkunji. All right. Well, I the name on national radio. On national radio. Maybe they don't. They won't understand why, but we we know why. We'll talk about uh, getting a story later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Have a good night. Yeah. What what Tambo was just talking about, Kenny, um, with the oil fees, and I want Benji mm. comes from that space as well too. But mm. those, you know, lavas are also work songs, and I think you know when we look at scholarship and we're kind of breaking things apart. In particular, I'm thinking about J.D. Elder's work um, and his ethnomusicology. So where he would separate the work songs from the bongos, from the calypsos, from the calendars. But calendars are made up of work songs, of lamentation songs, of marching songs. But all of those songs could be done while you're working. Right, and yeah. We have to remember that the Caribbean had work songs, but also this existed in places it, like New Orleans. Is it um, right? Chain, I just, I just chain say gang songs. Chain. I'm not gonna yeah. actually the same thing. Yeah. The chain gang. So blues, you, jazz. You like blues, you, right? Yeah. yeah. Muddy Waters on his guitar. Yeah. Had scribed the word wanga. Wow. And wanga is what? If you're from South, anybody from South know what wanga is? Mm -hmm. If you don't know what wanga is, call us. Ask. We we'll tell you. I don't know. I don't know. Wanga yeah. is the ability to imbue in an object or thing one's energy. It's like magic. So mm. in Saudi word for obia is wanga, is not obia. Wow. And wanga and obia are two different kind of different things. Different spiritualities. You know? And when you think about wanga, if you think about hogan uh, in Haiti, H-O-U-G-A-N, I think it's spelled. But it's basically, if you think about it, it's wanga. It's the priest that conducts the rituals of the space. You know, so Wanga is a set of rituals, um, easy, simply explained, which I don't like to simply explain things, but mm. simply explained, it's a, a sort of level of understanding magic. So you could wand, you could ward energy inside of these things. And, and, and it don't have to be so much hocus pocus and so much high science, but it is high science, right? And high science is from the way that you cook your food 
to where you get dressed in the morning, what oil you decide to put on, on your skin, how you watch somebody, how you speak to somebody, how you sing a laugh with. Okay. <laughs> 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 so if a man walk up on you and say, today we taking ginger, today, you either stand up and let him take the ginger, what are you doing? Right. <laughs> but really and truly, that one of the same, we got to all the mini house, we got to one. King Makano. <laughs> yeah. King Oni hey, Order. King Oni there. What? What my little papa? What? What my little papa hold? Now I can't shake his hand, but he can run and make a best man turn. Fellow Jen Rive. 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 Fellow Jen Fellow Delhi Ben, me Delhi Bai. Me Delhi Bai, Congo Bara, wash some pepper to mix up my chana. Wash some pepper to mix up my para, wash some pepper to mix up my chana. Fellow Delhi Ben, me Delhi Bai. Sing a Delhi Bai, Congo Bara, look at me, wash some blood in my kappa. Sing Delhi Bai, Congo Bara, wash some pepper to mix up my chana. Sing Delhi by Congo Bara, me me Delhi by Ama Samba. Tell them we don't bring no pressure, we don't give the company the wanga.
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, <laughs> it's nine thirty-three. It's nine thirty-two. The phone lines are open. This thing have a thing, right? And a thing in. And a thing in. Right? <laughs> this thing have a thing and a thing in. Okay? <laughs> Good evening, Cola. I needed this call. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. Good evening to you. Hey, Savvy, darling. What happened then? Yes, it was my birthday. Eh, hey, hey, eh, happy, happy birthday, Savvy. Blessed yeah. Earth Strong. Happy birthday. Happy, happy 16th birthday, Savvy. I'm I was 63 and I'm so proud to live to see 63. Mm. Yeah, man. Bless you. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. And yesterday we was going to Marcus. After church we went to Marcus and the reception was really bad. I listened to him say, while going up in the highway and once we hit that mountain, <laughs> yeah. this man was going and coming. We had to turn off the radio. Yeah, you need to go Grenada and pick him up better. But anyway. Because a few of them called me today and they said, Savvy, they wish me a happy birthday. I said, well, I was in Marcus. I didn't get into at all, at all. But Savvy, you're, you're calling me on an international phone line? Any in, in, in China? Kenny, I tell you that already, boy. I have the magic jack, boy. <laughs> Next month, I'm going by my children, boy. I don't travel so often, but I have the magic jack, Kenny. All right, darling. Okay, hey, you, you, you're the bright one, boy. Savvy, happy birthday. Eh? Happy 64th birthday. Uh, no, not four, not 64, 63. 63. And may you live to see yes. many, many, many more. And stay sweet as you are. I will, but okay. I believe in my God. I have plenty of faith in my God. I'm yes. not a couple come and spend the evening with me today. Ay, ay, ay. Very nice. Very nice. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. So, love and blessing to you. And you have a blessed week ahead. And yes, so we live in it. I am happy. I love myself. I do that. <laughs> you love yourself better than you love yourself, man. All right, darling. Yes. Stay yes. good. Stay, stay sweet. Right? Yes, darling. Stay sweet, eh? Okay, you have All a blessed right. night and we yeah. home safe. Okay, yeah, love you right. guys. Love you too, yeah. darling. Bless you. Well, you know, you're full of all my eyes. We see you all right. I hear so. <laughs> yes. I hear so, I hear so. All the time is walk, 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 all the time. <laughs> Tell Russell again, we business, right? I we business. Okay. All right. Good night. Okay, then. Bye bye. All right, pleasure. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Bye bye. I you don't, don't worry. I heard you. All. Yeah, man. Cool. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Oman is boss. Oman is boss. Oman is boss. I like Sammy. Okay, Kenny. All right, darling. Oman blesses. Oman blesses. All right. Bye bye. Oman is boss. Sammy is boss. Sammy is the boss. So yes. So that was um. Congo Bar. The song. Yeah. Philo Jen Rive. Alright, I, I name it. I name it Congo Bar. Congo Bar. That's alright. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with naming the song Congo Bar. Right. I long to want the right Congo Bar, King Anim Cooper. Okay. And it's interesting because if you listen to Pressioners Live, like Kiskidi Trio, mm -hmm. which is one of the earliest recorded calypsos, you'll recognize that this love way is kind of like the source of this famous Kiskidi Trio, Pressioners Live. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when people are looking at real the foundation of Calypso, mm -hmm. you know, they just get a taste as to where it's from. I know I have that Kiskidi tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. you have I, to have it. I have that. I know it. I'm going to spell Kiskidi. And sometimes but... we think that, like, you know, I've heard <laughs> Philo Jen Rive's song in other spaces, and we think that it's uh, just, you know, again, one of our folk songs. And mm -hmm. um, this particular love way is about King Adam Cooper, Congo Barra, um, his uncle. And a story that happens inside of the guy and how this lava was made inside the guy about his uncle and about Congo Bar's playing stick. So, hmm. Hmm. And Philogene was a famous blind drummer from New Grant. Hmm. But the history is so rich. Yeah. And, um, and we say in history, but history is, is something documented. Hmm. This is not documented enough we we'll see in water all right, all right and I'll then be... what do we mean by document we do do we always mean a piece of paper we ourselves are what i like to call human manuscripts 
you know so we are the <coughs> actual document and we don't yeah but again we don't engage the people who know who know and not just know from a brain knowing but have the knowledge in no we still have people who were there they were that were there <laughs> and um if we don't engage them and get it on their human from their human script mm -hmm. and get it on some medium it is very easy for the story to change and the other the, yes and it has <laughs> and changed twist. and twist yeah. and turn and till yeah. it late yep. but one of the things that we have to also remember is that kalinda is a secret society oh it's still that right uh, on in many respects so as king anthony by neil said on the radio the other day that <laughs> you don't trust nobody <laughs> right so he in order to teach you stick or to teach you something about this tradition he has to feel a vibe from you and it's the same thing with many of the elders who I deem to be honorable and loyal in a certain sort of way. And any of these sick men who are really genuine, ring dong women, they are not going to deal with you unless your vibration is meeting their frequency. So you could come with your camera, you could come with your recorder, you could come with your idea, but they are not going to go yes immediately. They're not looking for fame. They're perfectly fine with where they are and what they have inside of their bodies. We don't, we have to come at things at a level of respect, you know?
โดนไรบ้างอย่างประเทศว้าวลีดิสเรนมันส์ 9:44 Seeing as we went, we started late. We will have to finish late. You know, remember the phone lines are open: 652-4901, 786-292-2789. So you can call Mr. Rondell Benjamin and Miss Jamie J. Philbert and ask. Hard questions, you know. I like a little ask hard questions, you know, because this is a very, this is a very interesting situation and topic. Because if we see in right now, we are at the genesis of calypso and most other Caribbean musics, musics. There's a term they can say music. No, well, no, we can. You said it. <laughs> There's a term called musicking. So yes, you all can, right, you can all do right. It. Mm -hmm. And Caribbean musicking. Mm -hmm. There it is. Musics and musicians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we going down the road. No, we dragging. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it is the 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 goat skin on the drum, the chain gang, the chantwell, the 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 grunge. The Groja in the in the in the Gael. The Groja in the Calypso who was supposed to be the first Calypso then. But really and truly, any time African was suffering, there was a singer hmm. to try and ease the pain. Hmm. And if that would have been and tell the, the story. Yeah. And hmm. keep you keep you from jumping overboard. You understand? And um Oh. There's the identity, the bois inside of Calypso, the identity of the Chantwell, yes. the identity of war, yeah. and what ritual war looks like and sounds like. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you have to remember, too, Hamidula call me on the phone now. Don't call me here. Gosh, man. Gosh, man. Call me on the, on the air now. Call me on the air now. Call me. You know the thing that's go. You're calling me on my phone. Yeah. Um. The, 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 the. As I say, the suffering, the suffering would have been eased by that voice. The suffering would have been eased by the voice, but also there was a deep joy. You were there that night. Mm -hmm. Those songs are, again, ritual war songs, and some suffering happened. I'm sure to make some of them songs. Yeah. But, yeah, but, but what the... happened to the people, though? You, 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 you all reason I point it. When... The, all these these soldiers and and who came from fighting with the British, um, and they were <laughs> they were the um, the Navy SEALs of the day. Hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, the Navy SEALs of the day, but their weapon ended up to be a stick, a bois. Yeah. You understand? When they land here, they didn't land here with gun. Or, or bayonet or, or, or rifle. Because that, that stick, that boar has been a part of our histories since ancient times. Yeah. Because it came from 
from Africa. Warriors came mm-hmm. from Africa and it mm-hmm. came from people being pastoral people. Mm-hmm. So they were shepherds and they were herders and they were dealing with animals like the bulls and things that we would still see in Moruga now. Mm-hmm. And they would fight with the bulls. So they would take the bulls by the horn and headbutt them. <laughs> they would take the stick to guide and try to order the space. Mm-hmm. So the same stick they're using inside of the, the fields and the pastures is the same thing that they would take to war with them. So at no point were they not training. It was a part of their livingness, which mm. is why we say that Kalinda is a way of life. King Anthony by Neil does not just sing laveways on a stage or in a gael. He sings it when he goes into the jungle to dig yam. Mm. And I'm saying something that he actually told me, which was on his way out of the jungle, he said, Jimmy, the yam was so heavy. I had to sing my way out of the jungle, yes? <laughs> You know, so that the same thing we were talking about, the work songs, the work songs were meant to, it was a gesture of strength. It was a gesture of procession, how I'm moving. Um, I like to say it, and this is not the meaning of carry, but how I define it in my mind is how you carry yourself. Mm. My carry is how I carry myself in Igayel. Mm. And I'm carrying these songs with me. I'm carrying the rhythms with the drum with me. Um, you keep saying goat skin, but it's not just the goat skin. It's the, the, the heart of the tree is like how to describe it. And the heart of the man or the woman who makes the drum. Mm. So there's three heartbeats are meshed. That in itself is a wanga to make that drum. Mm. The stick in itself is a wanga because it comes from a living tree. Mm. So for us as stick fighters, the stick is not dead. It's alive. The drum is alive. So you have all these living things this ecology that's happening mm. inside of the guile. So all kind of things can manifest. So let me um <laughs> we're getting heavy for me here. We're getting heavy and <laughs> Yeah, um let us um touch the, the guest artist now by chance. Can we? Can yes, we? Yes, please, Must. absolutely. They are such a important part I, know, of I have evening. one i have one son of son of selby right let me touch son of selby then get the introduction and touch son of selby so to close off my little um mr chris on joseph yeah my little kaiso to my little calendar to kaiso story i want to play for you a calypso by one of the Giants of the art form. One Professor Hollis Chalk, that's Liverpool. The name of the Calypso is the Stick Man's Lament. An old stick man, I met down in Cochrane. He say, old time stick man and get recognition. Look, they take a stand to nationalize pan. And I call them, forget my contribution. It's from my old drum, pan get the rhythm. And when stick man hum, sweet melody come. On Carnival Day, when Stickman carry is them bamboo fule and ramage, clad way. One man discover you and Freddy Mongo to help with the law. I declare it war, kill a marrow, Tarzan from Taparo. Must go be a tiny to help me love. I declare in war. And when what break was give and take, the earth does shake. The death does wait. A break of dawn. When down from the yard, children just born. Dancing and carrying on. Man, 
took me to the junction Where he bust so much head and make big badge and run He says my head tie and make sure the guys Cause mass men to design costume and win prize It's can rule and the battle The old stickman play that statue made And it's my drum blast, fully up a class, move your blooming mass. Tick my overall, need me by me, to help me Lord, I declare the Lord. We cut out time, must go be on time. Man was really the first Calypsonian. He said, If I didn't fight Captain Baker that night, all now so Kaiso would have gone clean out of sight. It's from my lap way, Kaiso breakway, is I who chant and say, Santi Manite. Tell them, young singer, a sweet Kalinda. Start of Tiger and Executor When war declare, Mama Will lead or leave Meet me on the coffee To help me, Lord I declare war Peter Agent Manuel Cotin, 
are going to take a short break. There's a young man who I've been wanting to work with for quite some time and I thought would be a perfect fit for the performance. He's the son of a Calypsonian, I believe. Oh, they know he daddy. And he has stepped into his own shoes and fills them quite well, I do believe. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the one, the only, Chrisson Joseph. <laughs> AKA Seraphim. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Look here, a glorious morning dawn. Look here, your mama calling you. Look here, a glorious morning dawn. Look here, your mama calling you. Dipi mama fene hu, baka ba umboa. Dipi mama fene hu, baka ba umboa. Look here, glorious morning dawn. Look here, glorious morning dawn. Blessings. It is indeed a glorious morning every morning that we wake. And we're having a glorious evening. I want to talk a little bit about this relationship between Kalinda and Calypso, Benji, you see? Blessings. So, I said, look here, glorious morning dawn, and everybody said what? Amba Kaila, which means what? Under the house. Because, ah, because the Calypsonian is a nasty little guy. <laughs> Take the people, good, good song. Um, but Tyler in the battle, and we make a little smart, right? Under the house. What do you think happened under the house? Nothing good. It might be good, depending on who you ask. Before I deal with this. Just sang, blowing hands and So we didn't just take Amber Kyla, Amber Tyler, sorry, and make it Amber Kyla. We have a next really famous calypso. Blowing, blow, blowing, blow. Who did me there? Shante, Roman Cariso. Sing, blowing, blow. Blow in blow, put in it there. So sing it. Blow in blow, what? That's right. Who in it there? Shante Roman carry so. Well, it's now I make up my mind to go and meet Larry Constantine. Tell the world I can tell you flat. Larry can ball. Who in it can part? Blow in blow. Blow in blow, who did the day, oh, Shante? 
Sing blow in blow, everybody blow in blow. Udini deo, shantero mangariso. Well, I'm waiting for this carnival. Is to jump up with this criminal. I'm going to harm myself with a big stick. Any man in town, I meet that is relics. Cause I don't tell mommy you're ready. Mommy, darling, tie up your belly. Cause it's murder, federation, war, and rebellion when they meet me by the junction. Masty fair, masty fair. Meet me down by the crazy. Cut out a. I say, Masty Fay, Masty Fay. I'm cut out. Monday morning, I wake up early to drink a fat in my body. And I jump in up like a crazy. I'm going to collapse the city with my red attire on my pui. I like a button in the 18th century. I would be sticking my waist or chipping its faces to spit in all nigga face to tell them. Wah! Hand cut out, cut out. Oh, must be fair, must be fair. Hand cut out, cut out. Well, to show you are in for trouble. On my right hand is my steel knuckle. My chuka in my left pocket, boys. I put your arm on my jacket. And I jump in up like if a while. They're bound to say that it's all style. But it could be me like a child. I'm taking it with a smile. I'm pelting boy like a while. Masty fair, masty fair. Hand cut out. Oh, yes. Masty fair, masty fair. Cut out, cut out. Well, last man, I consult my doctor to check my lungs and my liver. I don't pay off my lawyer so he could pay off my undertaker. And as I have no mother, no father, they could pass me back to Grenada. Tell Mr. Chance I pay in advance to bury me down in Grenance. Masty fair, masty fair. Hand cut out, cut out. Masty fair, masty fair. Oh, cut out, cut out. Meet me down by Green Corner. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. They get, oh, they hear me. Oh, they heard what I said, right? <laughs> Yeah, 10,000 will buy me one, man. When me and the man don't play, long they be. And he come for me. He and the whole squad for me. Tell them 10,000 will buy me one. Peter didn't know Peter is Johnny Depp because I meet more problems. Because he is the devil himself. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. So. <laughs> Today we dig in ginger, today. Yeah. Tell them, Baba, dig in ginger. They hey, dig in ginger, today. Baba, dig in ginger.
After we dig in ginger, and he explained digging ginger. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, man. Your head is the ginger, the man say. I'm telling you, the man right. say, I'm coming to dig your ginger. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, it's so 11 minutes past 10 o'clock, eh? 11 minutes past 10 o'clock. Nice number. Yeah, boy. So after we dig that ginger, dig. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow. So ladies and gentlemen, we've been spending time with Mr. Rondell Benjamin and Miss Mistress Pointer. <laughs> sister Pointer. For the Queen one time. Queen <laughs> Sister Pointer. I like Queen Sister. Queen Sister. I like that too. Alright. Jamie Gillian Philbert. You get a met, you get a met. So, and, and you have to understand that Jamie Philbert, um, her accent switch in between very subtly and sometimes very harshly. Yes. Between uh, American and, uh, and Trini. Yes. So I really wonder about you, child. Well, <laughs> I can give you a history of it. I can also do a British action if I need to at times. Oh, my God. Whatever is necessary for the occasion. Oh, my God. But I did grow up in the state for 25 years, so in, in we are in the states, in oh. Brooklyn, New York, Bed Stuy, do or die, to Bed be exact. Bed Stuy, Mike. I was born in Lavantil. Okay. Until about two years old, and then we moved to La Hakata. La Hakata. Yeah, phase one, uh -huh. big up phase one, La Hakata. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we moved to Brooklyn, New York, to Bed Stuy, do or die. Mm -hmm. So I am a ghetto child with very um good manners because vero did not play that hmm. so but <laughs> but all right being in bed style do or die mm -hmm. how how your 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 pivot back to calendar how, how did i end up back in the land where my navel string is buried no no how you, you end up with calendar i think that calendar has always been a part of my life and i just didn't know it okay when i was younger uh, my daddy and I uh, grew up watching in Trinidad uh, Saturday morning kung fu and wrestling and I was a 
avid tomboy mm -hmm. and then going to the states i got into dancing so i started doing ballet and modern uh, modern dance first ballet much later on mm -hmm. and west african dance um, but I was never the normal dancer. I was very adventurous. I was very daring. Um, I like to do things where you're diving in the air and falling on the ground and rolling because I thought I was a little ninja in my mind. Uh, then I came home 25 years later after moving to the States when I was nine. And I had a car accident in 2018, December 14th to be exact, mm -hmm. that I died. And I was in the car unconscious for 30 minutes. Mm. and when they woke me up i didn't know what was going on i thought i was dreaming um i didn't feel any pain or anything until they tried to move me when they moved me then i felt something in my back of my shoulder long story short a month later i ended up in a yard with this man sitting down next to me mr king rondo well, i'll call it king brother king king brother king brother rondo <laughs> benjamin <laughs> right. and another gentleman by the name of king david matthew brown aka acid um and i started to see um something that looked familiar but also looked very unfamiliar and i'm like what is this and i knew about kalinda before that moment but like many people um i had seen it in plays and i saw it on youtube videos um and i I thought I understood it as a martial art, but I did not really understand as a martial art until I started to see it and breathe it and live it and practice it. Um, and that was my beginning of my journey to becoming a stick fighter. And I thought, Kenny, mm -hmm. I thought that three months into the game of getting my little bois and my little one arm that I had trying to not do anything with my stick because I was instructed to not do anything with my stick because I couldn't. Although acid had a different idea acid felt like you know my one arm was fine that i could do <laughs> i could work with a stick with my one arm um i thought that i could make this technique called the filbert killing the technique for dance and performance and that i was gonna mix it i was gonna hybridize it with modern dance because that's my background and kalinda and i quickly understood that kalinda needed nothing but herself many people have made, heard me say this before um because it's true um, sometimes we think that we need to add something to something that's ancient and old. We need to innovate it. And I think nothing's wrong with innovation, but innovation comes with a deep level of respect for the actual tradition. Mm -hmm. um, and for me with Kalinda, Kalinda cannot be removed from the innovation. And, and it's inclusive of the practitioners, it's inclusive of the traditional drumming hand. It's inclusive of the love ways, it's inclusive of the rituals, inclusive of the stick fighting and the martial dancing that is filled with intent. So that's how I reached it. <laughs> and I haven't turned back since. So Kalinda chose me is how I see it. And Kalinda saved my life um, because I didn't have like proper medical attention when that incident happened. Mm -hmm. um, Kalinda is what I use mentally, spiritually, physically to get myself back on track and still do to this day and i chose it back yeah and it's not an easy road <laughs> okay let me um let me read something here um beautiful program small island pride um i said it would be remiss of me if i don't express my gratitude to you and your guests for this very edifying program mm. that is mr hamidullah wahid Thank you, sir. A very, um, a very serious Calypso aficionado. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you know, all Calypso aficionados will kind of understand what, what, what we're doing here and where, it, where from whence it came. <laughs> all right? Mm -hmm. Because it, it is blaring. It is blaring. You know? It is blaring. Jules Sims, 1914. First person to record... Jules Sims. Jules Sims before Henry Julian. Who, um, which would be Iron Duke. Iron Duke. Mm. Okay. When you look, when you look at that recording, there was two recordings: Jules mm. Sims, Stick Fighter, and Henry Julian, Calypsonian. Mm. Mm. But the, but the Calypsonians have been always, always touching it. Always. Always. I remember my father used to work in Fedchem. And one of the Cal Calypsonians working with him, his name was Wrangler. 
and Rangal had a song about Bongo Night and <laughs> that kind of that song. I'm talking about I was a baby, and that song has stuck with me from ever since, you know. And she never went anywhere, you know, she right there. Yeah, but I do find we pay enough reverence to what was mm-hmm. ours. I agree with you completely, Kenny. You know, we don't, we don't. In fact, we're running away from it. The youngsters actually running away. You know, and... We also feel like we know already. <laughs> and when you already think you know something, there's no way for you to actually learn it. <laughs> uh, what is being done to Kalinda right now? Um... I, I, I'm trying to find labels for it, but there's a certain kind of cosplay that's happening. So Cos- cosplay, cosplay, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, cultural cosplay is what the, the tagline yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's people thinking that because we feel like it's just a stick, right? That that seems to be a low-level weapon to people, but a stick could do real damage, mm. and it could also not do damage if you are skillful enough Mm, mm. which is where the martial art comes in and if we deny ourselves of the gift of having this ancestral technology which is this martial tradition we're endangering every woman every child every man inside of the space because it allows for people to go through a rites of passage that allows for a space of honorable living Mm. and remembering remembering what you're doing right now sitting inside of that dna Mm. It's living inside of the story that Tambo told. It's yep. inside of us, it's in us, and it's up to us to try to excavate it and not to do it in a superficial way or in a way that we're just commodifying from it or commercializing it. Um, in a serious way, go and practice the thing, go and ask questions from the elders that are part of the tradition. Stop singing love ways and you don't know where you're singing because you could be raising a jumbie and then you don't know how to handle the jumbie when it reach. <laughs> oh God. Hey, well, the light was in candle, was oil and cloth in a pot, <laughs> and places like Togo had no dance. So when man dead was your chance, you the kicking hell in the place. Don't mind a bamboo joint was the base. Man jumping like even non-stop. Don't care even if the trousers drop. Shouting tonight is the bongo night. Bongo Macedonia. She a gas for laugh and talk. But this one beat everything. Once a fellow went out hunting, he just lose for two days or so. The ball he dead, they start a bongo. But while the wait going on, he reached back with the four dogs and gun. Man, he was so glad for the break. The man start a bongo in his own way. Shouting tonight is the bongo night. Hey, bongo Macedonia. Hey, Jack has go laugh and talk. Pretty bad to play, pretty bad to play in the guy. Pretty bad to play, tell them I'm to walk with the fire. Tell them pretty bad to play, say I want to. Pretty bad to play, pretty bad to play, my guy. Pretty bad to play, take your time by and sing my melody. Pretty bad to play.
I think, you know, that was a, a, a you right to mm-hmm. want to play. <laughs> <laughs> that was your right to want to play at this point in time. Indie Wow. Pretty Brago play. Hmm. We only touched some, you know. <laughs> we only touched we some. We only needed two. That was perfect. Wow. No, I mean, we have real one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I ain't to give play a good nine and I have twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's ten twenty seven. Um we this is such an interesting night, eh? It's such an interesting it really is extraordinary. I don't want to say strange. <laughs> Can't get both for strange. We didn't get both. We just we just took you, another turn on you the language. Clarified, you clarified yeah. strange. No, but it's it's strange to me because it's extra or it it different for me. Different. Yeah. It's very different. It like wait. But it's also familiar to you. Kenny. It is, yeah. but I didn't um. I didn't um. I didn't wasn't looking for it. I ain't yeah. look for your day. I ain't look for your day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Somebody saying, Miss Tyler Marie is saying, this, is, this was a wonderful program. Okay, thank you so much. And um, Tamba Gwindi Burkunji says, Simba Simbi. I know that. Simba means. Simbi. We hold up those who hold us up. It is a key Congo okay. saying, give thanks. All right. Okay, okay. I learned something. Mm-hmm. I win a jersey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't win already, Kenny. In life, you have won in life. I have won in. <laughs> Speak it. <laughs> Speak it. <laughs> Speak it. No, no. Um, this was very interesting. I, I mean, look, Hamidula sent a message to me. Normally, we'll call. You say this has been edifying. I love that. Good you thanks. Know, you know, so it. And it's something we had to do and could do again. Y'all should do, you all, two of y'all, mm-hmm. should do a podcast. You're going you're gonna to produce it for us, Kenny? Dying hard. Nice, nice something. Wonderful. I just love when you say things on the air. So, uh, <laughs> witnesses. 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 Good evening, caller. <laughs> Saved by the uh, caller. Good <laughs> says, evening. Good evening. May, may again. Uh-huh. I have a question for Queen... <laughs> You've been christened. I love it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay, I I heard she said um while her hand was damaged, she was trying to incorporate martial arts mm-hmm. with calendar. By any chance, there was a special style of martial art you were trying to use or planning on using. So calendar is the martial art that I use to heal myself. We don't look at it that way because we look at it as a bus head thing. Um, but it is an ancient African, and I'll add Caribbean because it's flowed into those spaces, 
martial tradition and not just a martial art because there's a difference between the art and then the tradition itself. I do do other martial arts, Bar Academy, um, the man sitting next to me, King Brother, Rondo Benjamin, um, is a over 40 year trained martial artist. He's a black belt in Jiu Jitsu. A black belt in karate. Yeah. Okay. I find you Your props. Your props. Yeah. So, so I started off with Kalenda and and then moved on to jujitsu and then capoeira. Um, capoeira. That is what I was calling to ask you about. Capoeira is kin to Kalenda. Kalenda is senior to capoeira. Um, okay. So it's very similar. If you look at the Capoeira complex, it's very similar to the Kalenda complex, and it's you know well, because of. When you say, mm -hmm, go when ahead. You said about martial arts. That's the first thing came to my head. Yeah. <laughs> so so now I want the first thing to come to head when somebody talk about martial arts in Trinidad, it will be Kalenda, and it's just because oh. we we haven't seen it that way, you know. But if you look at Capoeira, and there's a form in Martinique called Damie Olaja, um, not done with a stick. But the footing, um, the rhythms that are played, the songs that they sing inside of it is akin to our style. Yeah, so Kalenda didn't, didn't just exist in Trinidad. There were Kalendas in Grenada, in St. Lucia, in Martinique, in Guadeloupe, in Barbados. Um, Barbados is stick licking. <laughs> He just hung up so he can listen to me. I like him too bad. Um, <laughs> so there are many different spaces where calendars existed in Haiti. Um, it was also called Musundi. Um, spelled different ways. C-A-L-E-N-D-A-S, K-A-L-E-N-D-A-S, K-A-L-I-N-D-A, and so forth and so forth. So there's many, many histories that we haven't looked at, and I know it's difficult for us sometimes because we see the rum shop, and I was thinking earlier today that what calendar practitioners did actually was make the rum shop into a holy ground for martial arts mm. and for the people. So it's all about how we talk about ourselves because for years, you know, the colonizers and oppressors have talked about us in a particular way and we've adapted that. We've tried to reimagine it and we don't have to do either one of those things. And it's also fine if we do that, but we can also speak for ourselves and affirm who we actually are. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's speak for yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're doing a good job. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening. I could get my boy woman show now. Go ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> good evening, Kola. Good evening, good evening. Kenya deliberately wasn't calling because I didn't want to interrupt the flow. Honestly, mm. yeah. I'm very much impressed by this young lady, if I can call her that. Queen Sister the Pointer. Expert. Queen <laughs> Sister, whoever you're pointing all the time. <laughs> but your knowledge, Sister. I want to commend you to it. Now, I know the brother, the, uh, well, I know he's a veteran, but he I is. can't so much, what, what, what does she age, Kenny? Don't, don't, don't tell me. I can tell you my Kenny age. I'm having a 44 birthday well, party, July birthday. 5th, at Cafe Blue. Uh, You're invited to come. I come in. I want to meet you. <laughs> you know, because I'll tell you something. Whenever the woman takes lead with that kind of education and understanding, you understand? Mm -hmm. I feel that my race has been saved, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm -hmm. right. So I want to commend you for what you have brought to the season program, you and the brother. And Kenny, you know, I had a call long before, but <laughs> the flow was so nice. I said, oh God, you don't inter interrupt a good chorus. Yeah. <laughs> right. You must That's know a good it. laugh way too. Thank All you right, very man. much. All right, Army. <laughs> okay. <then. laughs> yeah, man, you're getting the props, man. Queen Sister Pointer. I stand on the shoulders of people like Rondell Benjamin, King Rondell Benjamin, King Adam Congobara Cooper, King Anthony Baniel, King David Matthew Brown, a.k.a. Acid, and so many others. King Carl Swamba, King John Stokely Paul. Queen Marva. Queen Marva, Queen Rosie, Queen Tati. Hmm. Yep. Is it, is it, um, is it, uh, let me ask a stupid question, eh? Is it only in our spaces or our religion or our that we that we pay respects to the ancestors or is it other religions as well? I mean other cultures you mean? Cultures, yeah. religions. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of indigenous practices uh -huh. pay homage to ancestors. We are not the only ones. Okay. The 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 
Cauc Caucasians mm -hmm. of Europe also have their ancestors that they pay homage to. Um, I know they, and they, they, um, they, they learn things from us too, right? The, Vi the Vikings. Yeah, the, uh, but when you great, look back yeah. at people like Pythagoras and all these people, they went to Egypt, they went to Kemet and learned all these things, took it back to their places and said, yes, I've come up with this theory. Meanwhile, it belonged. It was already to, there. Yeah, it was yeah. already there already. So they have their ancestors that they've no, developed. Why I ask that? Why I ask that? Um, uh, as a kind of lawyer thing now. I, I like send, it. I uh -huh. send it down that direction. We we supposed to we 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 supposed to, um, religiously culturally, we supposed to absolutely. You know we supposed to hey boy, that man, that man point me like how Tamba say father. Yeah. Yes. But on the normal, on the on the normal Baba Green, on the everyday, it don't happen so again. We we call names that are popular. We call names that we give value to inside of the space. Yeah. Right. Um, I like to say that citation is libation. So if the vagrant on the road tells me something, I cite in here. Mm -hmm. If the, the lady in the shop who does sell the nice aloe pie, mm -hmm. I cite in her. You know, and we have to remember that citation is not just for white people. It's not just for the person that is in the upper echelon of society. It's for everyone. Mm -hmm. And we have to remember where we learn things from. Call people name. It's okay to do it. There's a lot of people, and I'm going to speak about King Rondell Benjamin, that have learned from him. Mm -hmm. And I've seen them taking the information and speaking it as if they just came up. They roll out of bed. They born so. Mm -hmm. They come up. They mama tata. Just so. Serious? And yes. And it's not just him, you know, and the thing why it's important, it's not just about him, is that he got this information from his studies, from his own volition, but also from elders mm -hmm. that he's trained from. Mm -hmm. So when you don't cite him, you're also not citing them. Yeah, right. yeah when you're doing scholarship, research, uh, a dance piece, music, whatever it may be, you are literally taking the bones and the organs and the skeleton of everything out of it. So now what you have is nothing and it's not going to reach a particular way because it has no legs to move. You know, so Satan is the legs and the arms and the heartbeat. You say Satan, mm -hmm. I say credit. Yeah, credit, Satan, all the same things, synonyms, I, semantics, I, and yeah, synonyms. I just say <laughs> we don't, we don't, we don't do credit. And we don't do it, and we need to do it because by calling those names, it's the Simba Simbi. I'm holding up those people yeah. because they are actually holding me up. I didn't reach here just so. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I have parents. My mother, Dennis, and Veronica Philbert is the reason why. I can speak a certain way. Mm -hmm. No, they didn't teach me. My mother didn't have, my mother had a third grade education, mm. right? But that was the smartest, most savviest, most dangerous woman that I knew growing up, mm -hmm. you know? And I, I definitely, uh, I don't want to say imitate, but there's so much that I got from my mother. And then all these sacrifices for her to think in her mind, okay, I'm going to move from Trinidad and move to America because I think that my children might have a better life, right? I give my... <laughs> I give my parents plenty of pressure when we reached America because I did not understand why it is that we are in America when we have a whole house in Trinidad. In Trinidad. Mm -hmm. Why are we in this cold apartment? Why have to put on coat? When mm -hmm. are we going home? This was me every day for probably 10 years, you know, and I didn't see their vision, right? And I was the only child that was like, I'm coming back home. I said, my father, I'm coming back home. Before he died, he told his wife, um, Jimmy, coming back home, huh? He said she's short to yeah, as she come back home. I tried to talk to she already and I tell she turned out is not what she remember, but she insists she going back home and I know that child. If she says she's going home, she's going home. You know, so those kind of things for me, I keep those memories locked inside of me because I don't take for granted what it is that my parents did so that I could be sitting here right now. And then all of my teachers, my dance teachers, all of the elders that are around me, um, I could call some names that in the space Verna, Saint Rose Greaves, um, People that take the time to speak to me and to teach me, you know, Kenny Phillips. You know? Me? Yeah. I don't know. Come, you talking nah, about? Nah, nah. <laughs> what you what you uh, did, Kenny, during this process of Audrey Chantwell and taking a chance on something that was completely new, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, and that you wasn't sure where it is, but you're kind of sure where it is, and they say, all right, you know, that that means a lot. You know, and to believe in as forty four, but I still kind of young, right? To believe in young people, to believe in an organization that's been around for. You were, very, you was going good. Huh? I was going good until I kind of young. <laughs> 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 to believe in an organization that's been around for so long, you know, um, the work that Boa Academy has put into the space for almost twenty years, and 
part of that 20 years is just this man, Rondell Benjamin, doing that work, going to no, the but he, he have thing, he have a movie yeah. or kind of thing. He has a, but beyond the movie, people don't see the B-roll, so to speak. They don't see the behind true. the scenes and true, what true, true. he has done and true. had to do to preserve himself so that this could keep going in a certain way, you know? And what he yeah, still no. holds inside of his body is that people will probably never get because they don't ask the right questions in the right ways. But anyway. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are way over time. We <laughs> <laughs> dragging the fly. We dragging the we fly. Give now. Thanks. We give We burn, we burn. We burn, we burn. I want to give thanks to your audience, though, because they are part of the Gael, and I'm thankful for the people who called in and yeah, who commented and who are listening and... You can reach us at boaacademy at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook and you can find us on Instagram at boaacademy, B-O-I-S-A-C-A-D-E-M-Y. You can also, how else they reach us? On Sundays in Baratari, we have classes from 8 a.m. in the morning until about 1, 2 o'clock. There is breathing or breath work, movement and mobility, capoeira study group, stick fighting techniques with King Anderson Marcano, um, there's drumming with King Peter Noel, master Kalinda drummer. Um, and we also will be having an art of the Chantwell class, which we'll give more details about later. Yeah, man. And if you don't know what to find us, just ask a friend. <laughs> ask a friend, ask a friend. <laughs> now just go online and search Bo Academy. You'll go on be, Facebook. <laughs> you'll be all right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it was lovely. Won't you say that? It was lovely. You were educated and edified tonight. And um, before we start to drag the flag more. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, when you're born, you're born. You're born you're, you take a rest. When you're born, take a rest. So we we, we, we a team song, boy, right? Nice. So it was nice. It's 1042. I'd like to thank Mr. Rondell Benjamin, King Brother. King, King Brother, brother <laughs> Rondell Benjamin. And Queen Sister Pointer. Jamie J. Phil Butt. I just christened you again. Yeah, that's the good man. For sure, that's the good <laughs> No, no, no. You, um, you really edified us tonight. In fact, you make, I'm sure you make some people understand who they are. Hmm. You understand? All who are, who are dealt before, saying, but wait. This Yankee, I'm more Trinity than she than me. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was nice. It was nice. And um, thank you for King Anthony by Neil and the drummers. Who, Marcus De Leon, Marcus yeah. Stewart, Ellingsworth, Stewart, Shane Stewart. Yeah, man. Mm. Who, who put us in a place where, hey, if you didn't know, this is mm. who you are. Now you know. And King Peter Noel. Yeah, man. Yes. The man was playing drums in the audience. Hey, he walked through the audience. Well, t- tell yeah. him about you. Tell him. He walked through the audience, <laughs> playing the drum, boy. While men on stage. Fix this strap. You understand? <laughs> I hear the drum coming from somewhere like, where is this? Where is this, hmm. boy? Hmm. The man sit on He's the audience, masterful. playing the drum, boy. The vibe in that place was, was something else. Something else. You should do it again. Throw it coming. All right. Ting comment. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for staying with us and for understanding what we do here. All right. Thank you, Mr. Look Kenny. Out. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. King brother, Kenny Phillips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get, the WAC family. Get, and the WAC. Love of WAC. Yeah. WAC TV. We got title. We got title. All right. So we are out. Look out for Foxy in the morning, then Damian Melvin, then David Matthews, then Desmond and Tony. If we really do if you really don't have no sense and you want to listen to Desmond and Tony, go ahead. I can't stop you. I can't stop you. <laughs> you understand? We had a good time. Thank you so much. We're out.
home for unforgettable jazz moments. This Lenten and Easter season, look out for more details on our programming. Join Faith Center's worship service on Prince of Wales Street in San Fernando every Sunday morning at 8.30 and aired live on WAC 90.1. Me never cussing me a mother to see a mother that How me doggy get away and want to bite up she cat Me never cussing me a mother to see a mother that How me doggy get away and want to bite up she cat She cat to get away and come over home by me Catty run away and come over home by me As me doggy see it, he gets in basody Me never cussing me a mother your mother that Oh my dog he get away And want to bite up she yeah. What she say? She tell me to hold on the doggy boy Put the chain on him FM, connecting soca and calypso lovers around the world. We are Culture Crazy. W A C K. We pull in curtain every time you go out and you come back. This song. I want you to get this song, put your speakers outside, and play it. Yeah? Listen to you only hear this song. Fix your business is the name of the song. First time at Kaiso Showcase. Put your hands together. Let's throw some lovely round of applause and welcome Lynette Lewis. Get tuned. Okay. 
Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Good night. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it had some people always in your business. They're always there. I don't know why. Well, they talk about you and they talk about me. They're talking about everything that they see. They say that the man living in the back, how oh, he had a dead from a heart attack. They say that the neighbor daughter just fawn. But didn't know their own brother was making pawn. When the police put him up on the news, it's then they know their brother was making blues. Uh -huh. Fix your business before you fix my own. But if your house has glass, don't ever throw no stone. Every day you talk about people. And inside your house are devil. You better fix your mix and keep away from trouble. Mix your business before you fix my own. Cause if your house are glass, don't ever throw no stone. Every day you kneel down and pray. Then talk about people the next day. But when St. Peter see you, he go kick you away. They know I'm pregnant too, you know. body, bam, body. Long time that's why I'm pregnant. Oh. Let's check it up. Well, they're watching the neighbor's son passing by. They say he has six weeks, then he go die. They say you walking around all over with guns. And one day the police go shoot him down. Three weeks ago, I find their daughter. Well, I hear she run away with her murderer. The man three feet tall and own a big gun. And I hear they selling drugs all over the town. Don't say I say no. Fix your business before you fix my own. Cause if your house are glass, don't ever throw no stone. Every day you talk about people, and inside your house are devil. You better fix your mix and stay away from trouble. Fix your business before you fix my own. Cause if your house has glass, don't ever throw no stone. Every day you kneel down and pray, then talk about people the next day. But when St. Peter see you, he go kick you away. <laughs> What's that? Is that easy with them, you know? Is that easy? What's all your back, you know? Better fix your better fix your better fix. Well, they gone and they put their hand in Obia. Well, you know that they go down with the creator. When the Obia backfire on the tail, you know. Well, it's in the hospital, they get free. Well, I hear they're going on tea for tin and my look. Dong in the grocery palo seco. <laughs> I hear the tea for tin and bring a cup for full beef. And before they cook it, police come and hold them. Uh -huh. Fix your business before you fix my own. Cause if your house has glass, don't ever throw no stone. Every 
day you talk about people and inside your house had ever. You better fix your mix and keep away from trouble. Eh. Fix your business before you fix my own. Cause if your house have glass, don't ever throw no stone. Every day you kneel down and pray, then talk about people the next day. But when St. Peter see you, he go kick you. All you don't make St. Peter think all you away, no, I'm gone. Good night, all you take care. Nice run. Bada bada bam bada. They better fix, they better fix, they better fix. Well, let's sit down whole day in the gallery. Talking about Vishnu, about Sabah tree. They say they keep the wedding with loan money. And their mother selling bar and sada roti. Come hear this. But you know the bank come and take back their house. Well, if you see how they run out like a little mouse. Well, they asked me for downstairs by me to rent. But it's three months now and they pay a damn cent. They're working. Fix your business before you fix my own. Cause if your house have glass, don't ever throw no stone. Every day you talk about people and inside your house had ever. You better fix your mix and keep away from trouble. Eh -eh. Fix your business before you fix my own. Cause if your house has glass, don't ever throw no stone. Every day you kneel down and pray, then talk about people the next day. But when St. Peter see you, he go kick you away, bless. Bada badi bam badi. You better pick, you better pick, you better pick. Lynette! Lynette! Whoa! Bada badi bam badi. Bam badam badam badi. Well, let's sit down whole day in the gallery. Mm -hmm. And the whole topic was about me. They say I build a house and a driving car. And I have a set of children for a rasta. Mm -hmm. But when I see the bank come and take back the house. Well, I and all start to run out like a little mouse. Well, I put them by downstairs if I need to rent. But it's a whole year, and they I pay a dark cent. Fix your business before you fix my own. Cause if your house have glass, no ever throw no stone. Every day you talk about people, and inside your house had ever. You better fix your mix and keep away from trouble. Yeah. Fix your business before you fix my own. Cause if your house has glass, don't ever throw no stone. You better fix, you better fix, you better fix. Hey, thank you. As we'll be talking about, put your hands together for Lynette. Look at all, all you with all your movie lungs. <laughs> Look at all your let loose, all yourself. Mm -hmm, yeah, no, 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 no. That's my neighbor. That your neighbor? Everybody here is saying that your neighbor, and you know your neighbor saying the same thing. <laughs> one island, one Caribbean, one island.
the sky, to the sky, yeah, yeah. lovers. Get ready to immerse yourself in a wave of nostalgia with Island Memories, the nighttime nostalgia show, airing every Wednesday night from 8 p.m. to 4 p.m. Join us as we take you on a journey back to the 90s and 2000s with a special focus on Trinbagonian and the Caribbean music. Relive the good old days with your favorite classic hits as we transport you to an era of timeless melodies and unforgettable beats. Island Memories, the nighttime nostalgia show. The perfect way to unwind after a long day and get lost in the rhythm of the Caribbean. Don't miss out on this opportunity to indulge in some pure musical bliss. Island Island Memories. Tune in every Wednesday night from 8 p.m. And join us for a night of non-stop Trinbagonian and Caribbean music on Island Memories, the nighttime nostalgia show. Only on WAC 90.1 FM and WAC.TV. Such a different time 
safe to walk the streets, but before the street lights on I inside. Now in the light of day, criminals at play. Recently pelting bullets behind man, woman, not child. Heard my mother saying since a small, if you not there, your name can call and believed her. I really believed her. Now I don't know what to think at all. Since bullets breached a woman's wall and, and killed her. her. We are more than just cannon fodder Waiting to wave each other bye-bye In black clothes with teary eyes We are more than just human targets Waiting to catch your bullets and die So can someone tell me why It seems all we do is fear and wait To meet our gruesome fate But peace we must all restore Or soon we will all be no more Yes, safety we must all restore Or soon we will all be no more No more, no more We had a saying long time Takes a village to raise a child We looked out for each other and we greet our neighbors with smiles. Now people disappear and no one seems to care. Families are left in grief, wondering all the while. The mother told it's a bold disgrace, but this problem stares us in the face almost daily. If not daily. Chattel to be shipped to secret brothels abroad. A side hustle to some drug lord. We are more than just missing persons. We are brothers, sisters, and cousins. Oh Lord, how can we combat this discord? It seems all we do is fear and wait to see who next gets grabbed inside the gate. Family, we must all restore, or soon we will all. Togetherness, we must all restore, or soon we will all be no more. Yes, crime out of hand, but there's still pride in our land. Like our new gold medal swimmer, Nikolai Blackman, we still humble the greats. On many a world stage Just like cyclist Nicholas Paul did The other day at Panam Back in the day who dreamed we'd ever hear A Tremagonian NASA engineer learn her name Dr. Camila Lane And Rodney Wilkes' mind must have been blown To bring our first Olympic medal home Trini again Stand with pride, not shame We are more, we are world class talents with powers to shift the balance, no doubt. We've made giant shut them out. We are more, we are freedom fighters. So Constantine and Carmichael, I shout. This is what Trimble goes about. Now is not the time to fear and wait as things get in a worse and state. Cause hope we must all restore. And the Baby, 
interested in investing in real property, a home, or investment property in New York or other states, then Equity Smart Realty Inc. can work with you. From potential returns to portfolio diversification, buying international property comes with its perks, but it's also a complex process and there are tax matters to consider. Equity Smart Realty Inc can help you purchase real estate in New York. We have the knowledge you need to simplify the process. Ready to discuss your options? Schedule a consultation on this matter or start a business or a branch of your business at www.askthelawyer.us. That's www.askthelawyer.us or call 855-768-8845. Again, 855-768-8845. Hello, Mr. Philippe. Continue to produce. Leave singing for sweet voice people now. Even Nadi, but I'm exploding. 
This product has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Experience the power of five. Experience five of the world's top antioxidants in one powerful nutritional product. Introducing to you Lviv from Ardis, the power of a drink in a bottle. Experience the power of mangosteen, noni, acai, berry, goji, and pomegranate. Experience the power of five. Experience Leviv. With the regular use of Leviv, you would experience a decrease in the level of harmful free radicals, which cause aging. It helps maintain a normal cholesterol level, helps maintain a healthy blood pressure, helps fight virus and bacteria. It also keeps your skin and hair healthy, improves your vision, enhance your sex drive, improves digestion, increase your level of energy, controls your blood sugar level, improves your memory, protects your children's health, and allows you to have a better night's sleep. Experience the power of five. Experience Lviv. This is your boy, Heaven Snakey Charles, and I'm representing for WAC 90.1 FM. Yeah, WAC TV, yeah. The home of culture in Trinidad and Tobago. Enjoy the ride. Yeah. 
If you know you're on games, don't ask me my name. <laughs> Let's go. One time, okay. One time, I'm toxic. See me and leave me. I'm telling you now. Okay. Don't try to deceive me. That's right. Better believe me. No way, no how. No way, no way. Long time, I warn you. But you do are here. Yeah, listen. Yeah, listen. Always talking boldly. What? Always talking loudly. Who? Like you don't care. It must be crazy. You should have never asked my name if you know you was on game. So now I go stress you out. I go stress you. I go stress you. Everyone you see me talking to you want to know where's the name. Just know I go stress you out. for its competitiveness. Are you planning to start a new business or branch of your business in New York? Attend our Chamber Coalition's five-week webinar series, Small Business Sense Bootcamp. We provide education and business preparation for small business owners and startups. Learn the basics of business planning, how to finance your business, business credit, marketing, and social media strategies. Small business solutions, legal, tax, accounting, banking, and insurance and how to do business within New York City, New York State, and corporations. Register at startupsbootcamp.eventbrite.com. That is right here. Take my hand. Till the very end 
Show you what it means to have a dad Give you all that I never had Lift you higher to be better than All my fears erased All my weeping days Changed the day you came Girl, you gave me faith In a world that's great Gave me brighter days With my all I sing You a lioness of God Come on. 
reach the end of the sound. I hope you are focused. Yeah, Agape House Ministries in collaboration with St. Peter's Spiritual Baptist Church, Corner Pond and Lambie Streets, Vistabella, presents the Kingdom of God. Jesus said, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Do join your host, Bishop Leonjan and the Agape House team every Sunday from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. on WAC Radio 90.1 FM as they explain the spiritual principles for kingdom living in this troubled world and help with your preparation for life in the kingdom of God. This is Rivaldo London, and you're listening to Wack Radio 90.1 FM. Yeah, it's everywhere I turn, people on the phone. And Wack.tv, the home of culture in Trinidad and Tobago. And to at you with a heart of stone. Crazy. TNT's number one WAC 90.1 FM visual radio celebrates its 20th anniversary in collaboration with WAC Fan Club Central Florida with an eight day cruise on board the Caribbean Horizon to Aruba, Bonne, and Curacao from December 7th to December 15th, 2024. Cabin costs depend on your choice of ocean view, inside cabin, or balcony. Secure your spot with three easy payments, due 3rd December 2023, 6th April 2024, and the final payment on 30th of August 2024. Meet and greet fans from across the globe, have fun in the sun, and engage in flavors from our daily shows and theme parties. The Red, White and Black Night, the All White Night, plus 
other events planned for our WAC crew. You must book your trip via supattravel.com to attend the commemorative private events. WhatsApp or call Supat 240-472-2140. Dancer Boy 917-753-3123. Short Man 813-263-2127. Diana, 407-745-7492. Meet us in Miami. Don't miss this one. The spirit of Trinidad and Tobago continues to resonate through the alias of WAC Radio 90.1 FM and WAC Del TV. While the rest of the world goes on, we stay rooted in the rich soil of our culture, celebrating the Trinbegonian spirit that dances in our hearts all year round. WAC Radio 90.1 FM is your constant companion, bringing you the essence of Trinidad and Tobago. Hold 
lovely. Sister Tanti, Mommy Queen. This is a celebration for your dedication. Faith Santa's Worship Service on Prince of Wales Street in San Fernando every Sunday morning at 8.30 and aired live on WAC 90.1. Well, this is the voice of Mr. Shack that you're hearing clearly. And you're listening to WAC FM and viewing WAC TV, you see. And just in case you went up, the Roma culture in Trinbago is WAC 90.1 FM and WAC TV.
a doubt. Unforgettable jazz moments. This Lenten and Easter season, look out for more details on our programming. Valdo London and you're listening to WAC Radio 90.1 FM. Yeah, this, everywhere I turn, people on the phone. And WAC.TV, the home of culture in Trinidad and Tobago. And to get you with a heart of stone. Attention all Caribbean music lovers. Get ready to immerse yourself in a wave of nostalgia with Island Memories. The Nighttime Nostalgia Show, airing every Wednesday night from 8 p.m. to 4 p.m. Join us as we take you on a journey back to the 90s and 2000s with a special focus on Trinbagonian and the Caribbean music. Relive the good old days with your favorite classic hits as we transport you to an era of timeless melodies and unforgettable beats. Island Memories, the nighttime nostalgia show. The perfect way to unwind after a long day and get lost in the rhythm of the Caribbean. Don't miss out on this opportunity to indulge in some pure musical bliss. Island Island Memories. Tune in every Wednesday night from 8 p.m. And join us for a night of non-stop Trinbagonian and Caribbean music on Island Memories, the nighttime nostalgia show. Only on WAC 90.1 FM and WAC.TV.
Me never cussing me your mother This your mother that How me doggy get away And want to bite up she cat Me never cussing me your mother This your mother that How me doggy get away And want to bite up she cat She catty get away And come over home by me Catty run away And come over home by me As me doggy see it Snakey Charles and I'm representing for WAC 90.1 FM. Yeah, WAC TV. Yeah, the home of culture in Trinidad and Tobago. Enjoy the ride. Yeah, I love Calypso.
this message to you to sit down and my code it here chair call the election right away people dying all around the country you playing golf make yourself happy you don't say who dead they don't bother you money money what the hell you go put me through mind your damn business big award for you mind your damn business by then don't know the things you don't do mind your damn business you miss arrogance you feel you have class mind your damn business it's time chance with Fali. He is a no-nonsense man, you see. Trying to stabilize this country. But because it's Trinidad and Tobago, you tell yourself you're gonna run both shows. Crazy, TNT's number one WAC 90.1 FM visual radio celebrates its 20th anniversary in collaboration with WAC Fan Club Central Florida with an eight-day cruise on board the Caribbean Horizon to Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao from December 7th to December 15th, 2024. Cabin costs depend on your choice of ocean view, inside cabin, or balcony. Secure your spot with three easy payments, due 3rd December 2023, 
6 April 2024 and the final payment on 30th of August 2024. Meet and greet fans from across the globe. Have fun in the sun and engage in flavors from our daily shows and theme parties. The Red, White and Black Night, the All White Night, plus other events planned for our WAC crew. You must book your trip via supatravel.com to attend the commemorative private events. WhatsApp or call Supat 240-472-2140. Dancer Boy 917-753-3123. Short Man 813-263-2127. Diana 407-745-7492. Meet us in Miami. Don't miss this one. Confrontation between Ukraine and Russia. The recent conflict between Taiwan and China. Smaller nations can make their own decision. Without these obstructionists, don't try to make confusion. The civil war between rival gangs in Sudan. The daily fighting with Israel and Palestinians. Cells and rocket fill in the sky like rain. So many innocent lives were slain. The whole world in pain. But a please stretch out your blessed hand to heal all these acts of transgression. Your six commandments state that thou shalt not kill. But every day man can kill him still. And again, I pray, Father, please show us with your grace to bring seniority in this place. With laws of dignity, we have gone astray. We need more love in this world today. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Equity is now the order of the day And citizens can only look on with dismay Superpowers have this swirl in this array With daily threats of a nuclear war And endless don't play Thousands of tree dwellers are living on the street Without a place to sleep and without food to eat Spend billions to build rocket and warhead, leaving the poor destitute dead for want of a breath. But at least help us to save our soul from the atrocities of this world. We need deliverance for sin has taken its toll, and all the evil doers have now. Take no back control Where is the one love that we once had? Like the world today has gone mad Kindness and sympathy has vanished away We need more love in this world today at for each other and the jealousy has now taken over the days of being your brother keeper has gone and is replaced by malice anger violence and scorn no this is not the way that human beings should live learn to apologize to forget and forgive Tell me what is the reason you're fighting for When you know nobody wins a war We must think before But I'm crying out to you now Restore the brotherly love somehow His only life can bring us a brighter day Help us to put bitterness away to forge a new way, but I'm begging you for mercy. Help us to all live in harmony. But I'm pleading to you right now. I pray. Give us more love in this world today. Baby. Oh. 
This product has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Experience the power of five. Experience five of the world's top antioxidants in one powerful nutritional product. Introducing to you Lviv from Ardis, the power of a drink in a bottle. Experience the power of mangosteen, noni, acai, berry, goji, and pomegranate. Experience the power of five. Experience Leviv. With the regular use of Leviv, you would experience a decrease in the level of harmful free radicals, which cause aging. It helps maintain a normal cholesterol level, helps maintain a healthy blood pressure, helps fight virus and bacteria. It also keeps your skin and hair healthy, improves your vision, enhance your sex drive, improves digestion, increase your level of energy, controls your blood sugar level, improves your memory, protects your children's health, and allows you to have a better night's sleep. Experience the power of five. Experience Lviv.
Yeah. 